end ancient Israel, it was read before Josiah the king. And he rent his garments and bade the man in holy office to inquire of the Lord for him and for his people, for they had departed from the statutes of the Lord. He called together all the men of Israel, and the words of the book were read in the hearing of the congregation. The sin of the rulers and the people was pointed out, and the king stood up before them and confessed his transgressions, his repentance, and made whole heart. He did not rest until the people did all they could to return from their backsliding and serve the living God. He did all he could, and they did all they could. Is not this our work today? Our fathers have transgressed and we have followed in their footsteps. But God has opened the book of man. Their transgression stands revealed and the wrath of God will be upon every soul that does not repent and reform as the light shines upon his pathway. When Josiah heard the words of warning and condemnation because Israel had trampled upon the precepts of heaven, he humbled himself. He wept before the Lord. He made a thorough work of repentance and reformation, and God accepted his efforts. The whole congregation of Israel entered into a solemn covenant to keep the commandments of Jehovah. This is our work today. We must repent of the past evil of our doing. Our hearts. We must believe that God means just what he says and make no compromise with evil in any way. We should by any loss preferable, preferable to the loss of his favor. Christ left all to save men from the consequence and penalty of the transgression of the law. The way from the manger to Calvary was marked with blood. The Son of God did not deviate from the path of unwavering obedience, even to the death of the cross. He endured all the woe of man's sin. I beseech you in the name of Christ that you confess your sins and reform your ways, that your name may not be blotted out of the book of life, but may be confessed before the Father and before his angels. Jesus is pleading his blood before the Father, and now, while mercy lingers and probation is prolonged, seek the approbation of heaven. This is from Review and Herald, June 29, from 1911. I want to close the prayer, and I think everybody wants to pray more. Because the Lord reminded me, you have to pray before you begin to cook. <laughs> amen, amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for these words because we have to keep your commandments. And we can't do it by our own. And our transgressions are always before us. We see our weaknesses. And sometimes we are so discouraged because of our weaknesses and the circumstances we are living in. But... Let's come boldly to you, confess our sins, not to my sins. My husband had just prayed for us too before he left, that you may blot them out, that you will help us to do your will, to keep your commandments with your Holy Spirit. We can't do it by our own. And I ask you for forgiveness for my sins and for all the other sins. And I'm not worthy to say it, but help us to cling close to you to stick close to you and give us your love in our hearts, that we are thinking about your word, that we won't transgress, but with your help we'll keep your holy law, because in the Hebrew it is not you will not, but you do not do this and that. I thank you for these promises. Let us take as promises. And thank you also for your Holy Spirit. Give us this Holy Spirit. And give us also power and energy to do all this with the cooking class. And thank you for everything what you are doing. I thank you for your 
for your love and kindness, for your love, and for your patience with us and your endurance. And let's be prepared because soon you will come back and take us with you, that we may be where you are and the holy angels and the heavenly Father is. This I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Angela. Amen. Now, let me see if the camera is going off. Um, I won't be showing my camera. You don't need to see that today. <laughs> I'm still in bed. Just let me pin. I'm pinning to the screen. Those I can see in aprons. Adriana, lovely. I can see you're in your kitchen there. Got you pinned to the screen as well. All right. So, Marco. Who managed to do the bread beforehand? If not, we will do the bread now to start. Mine is in progress. Okay, yours is in progress. My bread is done. The tortilla bread. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you wanna have bread, or you want us to do the bread? So, do okay. the bread. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get cracking then. All right, so I've just sent you one recipe in the group. Don't know if you if you have coconut flour. You must. You need to have the flax flour. That's one good thing to have. Kawaii, if you just um, put your name, whoever is H2, H2 um, um, Kawaii phone. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's <laughs> Lorna. <laughs> Lorna is you. I never even looked and see that it was right there. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Morning, everybody. Morning. Hello. Hi. Morning. All right. Um, morning. You, morning, Luna. Morning. Let's morning. see. Abigail is here as well. Spin Abigail. Anyone oh, else I'm cooking? A walking, I'm a walking zombie. Ah. Uh, oh, should that makes two of us. <laughs> morning. Eric, we haven't seen Erica's yet. I'm cooking the beaner. You're cooking and t- and and um. Alma. Well, we've got two space left. Eric and Ruth when they come. Let me get my neck pillow. I must say I'm still in bed. All right. So for the bread, right? Let me just hear quick. Uh, let me g- tell you a recipe that we can try. So one. The one I posted in the group, alternatively, another one you can use, like your spelt flour or rye flour or buckwheat. You can grab how many people, If what the, the recipe I'm going to give you is going to do about four, maybe maximum six, right? Um, bread, the recipe I'm telling you is going to do for about four to six people. So you can always push in it for six. You can always multiply the recipe. And that would be like 8 inch tortillas. So if you want them bigger, then uh, clearly we need to. Um, it will give you six. It will give you four 10 inch tortilla. Four 10 inch or six 8 inch. Something like that you could do. The recipe I'm telling you. So one cup of. Either you spelled your rye or buckwheat flour, um, half a cup of flax or quarter cup of flax meal, two tablespoons coconut oil or any oil you want to use, two nice large tablespoons or three tablespoons of oil. Um, let's say about a quarter teaspoon of salt or you can add salt to taste. You can add more salt um, 
after you need it, you can just taste the mixture and you can add more salt if you need. All right, so salt, flour, salt. You can use a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of aluminum free baking powder. So let me let me see if I'm missing anything. Well, I've just posted the recipe in the group. That, how many pictures came through since I posted the recipe? I can't even see the recipe anymore. Uh, yeah, I can't. I, I, I think I need to see from my phone. Maybe something wrong with the computer. Oh, is it live streaming? Yes, it is. All right, so. Boy, you people on the ball with the WhatsApp in, so yeah. Um, psyllium husk. No, if you have psyllium husk, because that was one of the wow, my my, your thing looks good. Psyllium husk is one of the um ingredients that was on the essential list of ingredients. So if you got that, you can add it. If you don't, you can. You can always do without it, but it really um, gives you a nice glutinous stretch. So if you're not going to use a psyllium husk, use an extra half a cup of flaxseed. Meal. Flaxseed meal. Not the seed itself, but it's a meal. So you would need to blend the seed. Pulverize it in a high-speed blender. And... Um, you actually need to save it, but you could just add it to this mixture. How much is it? So if you're going to use a psyllium husk, three tablespoons of psyllium husk. You could use two. If you're using spelt, rye, or barley flour, barley or buckwheat, you could use two tablespoons of psyllium husk. If you're going to use something that is pretty sandy, like the coconut flour or the almond flour, you know, um, those are our chickpea flour. Those that don't have any stretch to them, then you can use three tablespoons of the psyllium husk because um, then that would sort of be, it. it is acting like the gluten. Now you mix those together, mix all your dry ingredients together, mix them well, and about a cup of warm water. So you want to have your kettle on, you want to use the water from your kettle that's pretty hot, and then you want to use half a cup of that, in, put in a separate measuring cup, so about half a cup of the hot water with about half a cup of um, room temperature water to bring it to a nice warm and you're gonna use that because the psyllium husk need warm water to swell it. It starts swelling right away. So psyllium husk is a tree fiber. Sorry, Kevin, how much oil? Oh, okay, about about two tablespoons of oil. Ha! Cake flour and brown bread flour, one teaspoon of flaxseed meal, olive oil, and one teaspoon salt. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's beautiful. Do we add flax seed or flax flour? Flax flour. So you, if you only have the seeds, you have to put the the, the seeds in the blender and pulverize them. Uh, thank you, Margaret, for reposting. That's so how I could find it. Thanks.
Davina. Ah, uh, good morning. I have brown rice flour. Is that okay? That's good. Okay. So just grab your flax meal to go with that. And if you have psyllium husk, you grab it as well. Okay. Now, do I, do I fall under the category with the coconut flour or with the rice? Um, I'm thinking, I've, I've never used the rice flour like that before. I'm trying to remember. Oh, the rice flour. Um, I'm trying to remember the type of how it works. Go, go with it. Go with it. Because rice flour normally have a good structure. Um, ah, brown rice flour. I would go with the almond flour and stuff like that. Um, okay. Yes. Right. If it was white rice flour or sticky white rice flour, then I would try the other one. Or you can give it a little balance, like maybe two and a, um, you know, like, the psyllium husk, you can knock a little bit off it, like instead of three tablespoons, maybe two and a half. Davinia? Morning. Davinia, I've only got wholemeal, um, wholemeal flour, so how much will but I... But you're uh, good, man. You're, you're, you're good with your wholemeal flour. Follow the recipe that, um, that Adriana Lopez sent in the group. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Only one thing, though, I I I I'd seen someone picture that they followed it, and it, I'm thinking it could use a little bit less oil. But then I see somebody else recipe come true, and it doesn't look that way. So you can maybe start with a little bit less oil than the five. I believe your recipe has five tablespoon. What is the replacement for psyllium host? If you don't have it, just use a, a extra half a quarter cup of um flax meal. Meal. Okay, thanks. Are right, you? Yeah. I have spilled flour. I have the spelt flour. Then use the spelt flour. Um, you can do it without the psyllium host. Let's use some flax meal with the spelt, yeah, and those two will be good on its own. Thanks. We have to hurry up though. We're not gonna spend. We can't spend the whole morning on the on the bread itself. So we have to hurry up so we can get to the more challenging things. Good morning, Davina. Good morning. Davina. 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 Morning. I don't have. Uh, I've got wholemeal flour. So do I double the quantities to replace psyllium husk and? Um, no, and, uh, that's fine. Milk. Your wholemeal flour is fine. So, so I took two cups of wholemeal because there's there's a half cup flax meal which I can't add in here. If you want, you can do it that way. Yeah. Um, but you would probably need more than one. Yeah. Try with one cup of water. If you need more water, you add. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, for all you. the recipes, if you need more water, you add. I, be, I believe one cup mm -hmm. should start. Okay. <sighs> Sorry.
<laughs> Let's see these cheeses. Wow. Denise. Denise cheese looks fantastic. And the present Look at that man. No, Denise is getting me excited like I need to wake up. <laughs> Denise. Then he's not on a course today. I don't think she's out. Yeah. Huh? I can't see her, but those cheese, like, wow. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so, how, uh, has everybody else tested their cheese already or are they all eaten off? You want to see it? Oh, which I one is that? Oh, that's the one with the cranberry and stuff. No, with olive. Ah, how does it taste? Uh, like a dream. Wow, that's good. If I put it in the oven, it is like this, melted a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's wonderful, isn't it? it, it it's a totally top. Excellent. <laughs> Where, where's all the cost? <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful you all need to send me some cheese in the post <laughs> <laughs> i've just uh, posted my divina i've just posted mine in the group let me go on i'm so excited you are making me so excited man it's at 3 a.m in the morning <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that looks good, Florence. Florence, give a cut, let us see. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mmm, that look good. <laughs> yeah. Marina, I'm mm -hmm. eating it now, so. What's the consistency of our dough? Oh, I have to see which flour, you have to tell me which flour will make the different consistency. Um, I used the wheat flour and uh, uh, premium white bread mix. Oh, you're, you want a dough like when you're making dumplings. Gosh, I've never made dumplings. <laughs> All right, let me see. <laughs> let me see. I have to see. Turn your camera down. Let me see what you've got there then. Ah. <sighs> Oh, wow. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> uh, I just used one cup of warm water, but it's still... Oh, uh, you know what, no? Yours using... It's the one with the psyllium husk. Need to use the warm water. Yours yeah, I, need... I put psyllium husk as well. Okay. Just probably add some more water. You need to use your hand, not the fork. We need to use our hand to mix that dough. And when it starts, you want to knead it. The dough should be able to be kneaded. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. Hawaii, L Lorna, let me change your name for you, all right? I'll, I'll change it, don't worry. Rename it to Lorna. Excellent. Lorna, that looks good what you're doing there. Okay, you use the cling film, good. Adriana, how are you getting on? You're on mute, you have to unmute yourself. Um, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. Did you see my one? No, your camera is now off, it was on before. Um, yes, I, um, I, I didn't um, put anything, um, the baking powder in it. You don't so have... Fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, you're doing well, man. So you want to split those up. So, like you have it now, has it rested already for 20 minutes? Yeah. 
All right. So I, I, what you can do now is take one, cut it in four. Use a knife and just cut it in four. Yeah, take one of your dough balls and cut in four. Okay. All right. Listen, we didn't plan on making any cake today because you all just made cake two days ago. Is the cake finished already that you made? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay, right. So as a result, we didn't plan on making any more cakes today because you should have cake that you need to eat. But... I could talk you through a cake at the end of the class, the very end, for those who would need to make another cake. I could talk you through um, any cake. <laughs> but when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Divina. So I cut it like this. Uh, I can't see it, 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 the thing need to be positioned properly. Yes, that should make about one. Make that into one ball. Yeah. And then you're going to roll it out with your rolling pin. Yeah. Um, And you're going to try and keep it as round as. So if you have the grease proof paper, you can put a piece at the bottom and a piece on the top and roll it out between the two grease proof paper. You roll towards you and away from you, and then you turn it. You keep turning the paper around so you can get it to a nice round, about 10 inches. Or you can probably do 8 inch for the children and 10 inch for the adults. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you've only just made your stuff, you put it aside. For 20 minutes and then we want to get on with the with the other things you want to cut up your your we're gonna make the sauce the enchilada sauce and for this sauce you want to grab some peppers red or green whatever color pepper that you have this is the sauce that we're gonna cook so you want to leave peppers for your filling as well so don't use all the peppers that you have in the house <coughs> Well, you know, ideally, yeah, that's, don't, don't tear, tear it up like that. Round it up in a ball, Abigail, round it up in a ball. Yeah, leave them to rest. Leave them to rest, Abigail, for, make the balls, yeah, and leave them to rest for about, we leave them to rest until we finish the sauce, until we get, we, we want to get on the way with the wrap. Did we have the peppers and onions and the peppers and the peppers prepped for the filling? Not yet. All right, we do everything here. Okay, you have some stuff ready. Um, Davina, you know the the one for peppers. Is it the same like the one we did with uh, Louise? No, okay. that's a different sauce. The enchilada sauce is like a kind of tomato pepper sauce. Uh, Divina, what shapes are these peppers this time? What shape are the peppers? You mean the ones for the sauce? Yeah. Oh, man, you're just chopping those up, man. We're going to blend them. They're going to eventually be blended. Okay, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. Lena? I have three big peppers. How much do I use for the sauce and for press for later? Oh, so you, if you only have, how many people are you cooking for? Four. Okay, so. You, I have use, you can, you can um, use, wow. They're big. So use one red and one yellow. 
you can use the one red for the sauce and piece of the other red for the sauce and then you re leave the red and the yellow for half of the use one okay. and a half for the sauce one and a half for your thank you mm -hmm. they're beautiful you got those from your garden no you know what i could do i have some uh, in the freezer i could use that for the sauce if i need more for the fresh yes 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 that would be fantastic okay yeah Davina, I have just one red pepper. You know my daughter. You're gonna use the one red pepper in the in the filling. You're not gonna use it for the sauce. You okay. have green. No, my daughter eats peppers raw. Just choose them. <laughs> you need to send her to go onions. pick some pepper for you now. Peppers and onions. She'll just sit down and eat them raw. That's well, fantastic. I don't know why. <laughs> That's brilliant. She's fixing her own gut, man. She don't need no probiotic. One raw <laughs> onion a day and uh, you fix your gut like, wow. Davinia, you know the um, when you're kneading the flour, you know, like the doll, does it have to be soft or... You know, when you're doing a kind of like a boiled dumpling and it's it, kind of it, hard. It can be soft, but it shouldn't be sticking to your hand. If it's sticking to your hand, it may need a bit of sprinkle more flour over it. Okay, then. All right, then. Yeah, Thank let you. me see it, though. But let me see it. Would be good. Do you see it? Um... Hold on, I'm searching. Yeah, I'm searching. Um, hold on, I'm yeah. not yet. Mm -hmm. Margaret? Yeah. yeah. Let, um, bring it up. Okay, okay. Um... No, not so close. It's too close. So the yeah, um, you have you probably need it a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, need it a bit oh. more, but it's yeah, okay. it's there. If anything, just a sprinkle of flour. Right. Okay. Then. Just yeah, a, okay. a a hand, less than a handful. Just sprinkle over it. All right then. Thank you. I just yeah. didn't know how much to knead it. You know, because sometimes when you're doing dumplings, you don't need it too much if it's just um fried ones. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Um, yeah, um, I do um, the, um, I don't have any um, sweet or anything like that. I thought uh, I am, but um, I don't have any. So any have what? A, um, the onion. You don't have any what? Sorry, I didn't hear. Um, any sweet pepper. Okay, have you got no, chili? Tomato. You have got no. tomato. No, I don't have any sweet pepper or, uh, yeah. Or hot pepper? No. I, that, I have a, um, cayenne pepper. Yes, that's wonderful. The, the cayenne pepper is the one that, um, that is wine. Um, the, the, the powder. The, yeah, the powder one. That's fine. That's good. So your tomato, you're going to throw your... You have got what? Chopped tomato in the tin? No. I have the oil, so um, cut it up and put it in the blender. Yeah, mm hmm. You're going to need a lot of tomato, though. About how much? Four? About more than four. I don't think I have so much in there. You have tomato paste? No, uh, I have um, ketchup. So every
everybody, I don't see no chopping going on. I have about seven tomatoes. Yes, use them all. So cut them up and put them in the blender. Cut them up, put them in the blender. Yeah. And what about um, the and the onion as well. And about six clover garlic. So in your blender, ladies, you want the peppers that you're cutting up. You want to throw them in the blender um, with your onion, about six cloves of garlic, some cayenne pepper. And you want to blend that through. And uh, if you have chopped tomato, a tin of chopped tomato. Uh, did you post the recipe for this sauce? No, I was about to type it up when somebody started joining in and the talking starts. So no, it's not finished typed up. How many onions, please, Davina? You can use one onion. If you have more than one, you can use more than one. Okay, I missed you. out what I had to do because I was running to the freezer. Okay. Um. So your peppers, onion, garlic. So you need about six cloves of garlic, one or two onion. Um. Six, six, uh, slow. six cloves of garlic. Yeah. One. How many, how many peppers? Um, if you can find about two or three peppers, that's good. And the the colors doesn't matter. Red, but if you only have the green, that's fine. You have all three in the freezer. Really? Um, yeah. Excellent. So green, red then. Red is best. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. If you have cumin, um, oregano, yeah, or cilantro, uh, or if you have the fajita seasoning. Oh yeah. What? If you have the fajita seasoning. I absolutely don't know what it is. That's fine then. So we're using the natural <laughs> stuff. So you, onion, your garlic, your cumin. Onion, um, how many onions? One to two. One to two onion. Uh -huh. And onion is 100 gram for you. Yeah, that even if it's 200 grams, you're still, you know, that's fine. Yeah, the more the merrier. Yeah, I have some, they're almost 300. <laughs> oh, Spanish onions you've got. From my garden. Really? <laughs> No. Oh, Lena, I know where I'm coming for country living. <laughs> That's wonderful, man. That sounds really good. So I take one. Yes, one 300 gram onion. <laughs> I, I left those at work, man. So the peppers, the garlic, the onion, cumin, oregano. Yeah, um... We need some oil. How much oil? I just need a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan to... Um, Not in the blender? No, just in the bottom of the pan. It's a tiny touch to grease the pan, coat the bottom of the pan. Uh, and how many tomatoes? Um. You want to have about a tin of chopped tomato, so I'm thinking about 7 to 12 tomatoes may, will make. So either you use a tin or you use 7 to 12 tomatoes? Yeah. Uh, and I put think seven. Tomatoes on the freezer. You have it in the freezer? That's excellent. Davina, if I'm using the... um. The leek in place of the onions, do the whole thing, blend the whole thing. Saute the leeks okay. first. 
Gives it a nice flavor. So we blend everything together and then we cook it. Yeah. But you, we still gonna need one onion with some flour afterwards to saute with the oil that we're gonna put in the pan. And we, we're gonna we're gonna saute those and then we add the sauce that we're blending up to it. Okay. Abigail, I heard my name. Yeah. Last night I tried I tried the onion cream. Gosh, it's horrible. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I don't know. It's just it's got a bitter taste. But I use the uh, red onions, you know, purple onions, not the white ones. But that should make a difference. Um, did you add cashew to it, or was it just a pure onion and? I added um, pumpkin seeds, roasted pumpkin seeds. Okay, okay, you didn't use cashew. All right, and did you put lemon in it? No. All right, it's not too late. Can I can I add this sauce Throw to it my, in your blender? The one I'm doing. Yeah, to the one yeah. I'm doing now. Okay. You want to add the cap the this cream to what do you want to add it to? To the tomatoes and the no. spices. You're not gonna add it to them. You can serve that separate on the side. Mm. Who is DC? I never remember seeing a DC in this class before. Davina, isn't that Dale? I think she sometimes logs on as DC, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. I don't think so. Hi, D. Morning, Edwina. Morning. Love it that you're in your kitchen. Edwina. Hello, Adrian. Um, yeah, um, I do um I cut up um the, the tomato and the onion, two onion and and the and yeah. garlic. And about, um, eight, um, I, I put about um four peg of garlic and then the tomato. Put it in the blender now. Straight up in the blender. Yeah, you have any cumin seed? No, I have uh, um, oregano. Yeah, pour some, cho cho some oregano in it. And basil, and basil. Mm, not really the flavor that we're going for. What about the cayenne pepper? Yes, put the cayenne pepper with it. The blender. Yeah, mm hmm About that, um, about half a spoon. That is gonna be hot. Oh, half a teaspoon, yes, teaspoon. Okay. Even though it's up to the, it's up to the level of heat that you can manage. Should I put in the entire leek in there, Davina? Yeah, man. You can save some of your leek um, to go as filling if you want. But leek is nice as a filling, especially when you saute it with butter and salt. <coughs> Sorry, Davina, I didn't get the issue about leek. What are we supposed to be doing with the leeks? You're not supposed to do anything with it. Myrtle, I only have leeks instead of onion. Okay, I've got onions. Okay, all right. Put a little. Adrian, you're on mute. Yeah, put that. Talk again now, Adrian. Yeah, put a little water in it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You will need water to blend it. Even though sometimes tomato, they oh, can no. just, they're soft, they can blend on their own. But yeah, add some water. 
Uh, if you have a little apple juice. Um, no, I think I have. Um... That's fine. Add the water. I only have um, orange juice. Add the water. Okay. Mm. I'm going to blend it now. Mm -hmm. Good Beautiful. morning, Divina. Good morning, Selma. How are you doing? Good. Are we adding tomatoes to this onion mixture? Onion and pepper mixture, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you I can, can use a tin. I... You can use a tin of tomato if you okay, haven't got I... tin. Mm -hmm. I have. I have a ton of fresh. So yeah, you got have... the fresh one. Anywhere okay, from okay. seven above. Okay. So how many fresh you think I should use? I because I, I can use I can use tomato paste. I can use um, crushed tomato. I have tomato sauce. I have fresh tomatoes. You're ready, man. Anyone you want to use. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Mm. And remember, before we start boiling it, if you have vegetable broth, by the way, if you still have any broth left back, or if you had made any more, because I know that's supposed to finish, but if you have broth, you could use that instead of water. Hello? Yeah? At the moment. Huh? But this is okay. It sticks. I blend it. Yeah, uh, your food process it. Yeah, you can add more water to it. Or uh, what you can add now, you can add a little bit of a little bit of the juice to it. But add water with a little bit of the juice that you have. What about this now? Which one? So, yeah, it's a better consistency. Yeah. No, you can make it thinner. Because we're going to saute, we're going to do up the flour with the little oil or the melted homemade butter. We're going to do up that flour first. And then when we add the sauce that you're blending now to it, it's going to be thicker as a result of the flour. So you can make that liquid a bit thinner. But this one now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what else are you supposed to do? Have now? you got a little tiny piece of ginger you could blend with it? Yeah. Add a little thumb sized piece of ginger. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's just for his or anybody? He doesn't. He just so he, you can add it. You can add it as well if you want. It just gives it a nice added flavor. Um, <coughs> Davina, just so I'm clear, all the uh, condiments for fajita uh, seasoning, do you, are they supposed to be added to the blender sauce? No, we can saute those. Okay. You can add them, but you so mean like the cumin and um, the powdered yeah. seasoning, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's nicer when we saute them. So when we okay. saute in the flour, uh -huh. Um, we can do them at that time and it helps to release the flavors from them. Sure. Thank you. Lavina, hmm? would you mind explaining the two sauces? I think I'm a bit confused now. There's only um, one sauce. So um, at the moment I was cho I was topping the tortilla sauce, the peppers, the onions, the garlic, and all that. And you said to salt it that before blending. Is that right? No, blend first. Yeah. So your onion, your garlic, your peppers, your tomato. Throw yeah. that in your blender. And I was saying you could add a little piece of ginger to it. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna saute. You're gonna blend those first, and then. We're going to saute now 
the herbs like the cumin and stuff like that with some flour in some oil and then when that is nicely sorted then we're gonna add the the sauce that you have blended then we're gonna pour that onto it and whisk it okay mm -hmm. they are putting the ginger in at the moment mm -hmm. then what else um, i should do now cilantro oregano cumin i don't have um, the cumin you don't have the cumin no you have a pinch of cinnamon or a pinch of clove or if you, your clove probably in uh, whole form you can okay you, can, yeah. you have clove star anise pimento these things can be used in the saute part I use fresh cilantro beautiful but blend the fresh cilantro put the fresh one with the with the mixture that you're blending okay yeah, I put in the, I put in. Mm. put what in say that again yeah, um, I put in um, the, the cinnamon in it. A pinch, you know, not a lot of cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You can put that. You don't have to blend the cinnamon if because it, it's already powder. When we saute yeah. in the flour, you could yeah, put, just, a, um, put it in and just, um, stir it around. Okay, you put it in the mix already. Yeah. All right. Did you have any of the others that I mentioned? No. All right, Only that's have, fine. Now you're going to um, get your... Huh? I only have mixed spice. No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else? Now we're going to get our pan. Yeah. Nice big saucepan. Yeah. We're going to saute some flour. What flour have you got? Um, all of it. All right, that's the one you're using for the tortilla. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Use it. Um, about a quarter cup of flour or two tablespoons. Are we all at the same place, or am I waiting for you to finish blending? Everybody Is needs to finish now? blending now, so we can move on to the next stage. Yeah. Vinny, I'm just about to start blending, but shall I put the, um, what they call it, the ginger in with the blending or leave it for the, for the um, other? Say that, should you put what with what? The ginger in with the peppers and that when I'm Yeah, blending. man, yes, you can put a little piece of ginger with them. Thank you. Lorna, what were you up to? Hi, Davina. Hello. Hello. Root, is it Root? Nice. Edwina. Edwina. Yes, I've just blended the, the tomatoes and peppers and onion. Okay, so let's wait. Once it's blended, and the garlic. Yes, and the garlic. All right, so now we want to we wanna be gathering a quarter cup of flour and our oil in our pan. Lorna, you were saying something. Yes, I wanted to know. That's the bit that I got stuck on. Um, is it just a normal pan that you're going to put the flour in? Yeah, that pan is fine as long as it is enough to fit your sauce. Remember, you're going to pour the sauce. You're going to saute now the right. flour with some oil and you can add the cumin, the dry powdered seasoning to that. You're going right. to saute that and then you're going to pour the mixture in your blender right. in the pot. So you have to make sure you have a a sizable enough yeah. pot to fit the the blending liquid. Okay, let me get another pot. Alright, just give me a moment, people. Ten seconds. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm back. Virginia, how much flour did you say to put in the... Um, no, I need about two tablespoons, quarter cup. Okay, thank you. And how much oil? Um, just cover the bottom of your pan. Okay. Or you can use your melted, your homemade butter. But if you use your... Yeah, you can use your homemade butter. If you use the recipe I give... You can use it just like that, but if you use other recipe that add other stuff in it, then you probably need to add a little oil. Davina, Edwin again, sorry. Ah? Huh? Okay, can I use coconut flour? Ah, uh, you can, but the coconut flour is is pretty sweet. Okay, so, so uh-huh. You can use the coconut flour if that is what you have. I've got coconut flour and brown You have got corn flour or tapioca or arrowroot. I've got coconut flour. Tapioca, arrowroot, cornstarch. Yes, I've got cornstarch. Oh, yeah, flour. use the cornstarch. Okay, so how much okay. what are the the quantities, how do I do that? Quarter cup still. Oh, quarter cup. And how much oil? Huh? How much oil? Oil, how much? Cover the bottom of the pan. Okay, sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you adding the oil first? Yes. Okay. You're adding the oil and then you're going to add the flour and you're going to mix it in you're gonna um keep stirring it in and then you're gonna be adding the mix that you blended so your herbs as well you wanna your spices like the cumin um you want to add to the flour and the oil ah, ah, sorry <laughs> you i know pussy's online but i have not heard her voice uh -huh. Davina, a quick one. Um, mm -hmm. The flour, can we put it in dry in like that or do we need to mix it at first? Make it wet. No, you're going to yeah, sort of like you, you, you want to like, like you're frying the flour sort of kind of thing. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you. Davina, Davina I am following and um, yeah, I'm just silently following. All right, um, no yeah. problem. <laughs> Avina. Yes, Adrian. I put the oil in the pot already. What else um, I should put in there now? The flour. You have the cumin. Add a pinch of the cumin to the the flour. Cumin. Okay. All right. That's fine then. Add add the flour and just mix that. If you have onion powder or garlic powder, add it. Um, garlic powder in the flour. Yeah, in the pan. In the pot with that, you have the oil in that you're gonna, you're gonna be like sauteing the oil, the flour. No, so what you say? Um, I should um put um the the um the flour that um the quarter cup of flour in in the pan. Yeah, in the oil. Yeah. <laughs> With the with with if you have onion powder or garlic powder, you can put a little bit with it. Mm -hmm. 
and then you're gonna saute those and you're gonna just keep stirring it until it is all nicely coated and the flour starts to like it starts to get slightly brown like the color changes then you know it's time to add your lena your mix looks good i want to come for dinner looks good yeah is it okay huh it's a thick thinness okay uh, it looks okay. It looks okay. If it's Good. yeah, it's okay. It's fine. I, I, I didn't put any water. But really? From the, from the freezer, then it's more wet. It's wet because it's from the yeah. freezer. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It looks good. Okay. So what do I do now? So let me tell you a little bit about this sauce that you have in the jug, in the blender. Let me tell everybody, I want you to just pay a little attention to this. You're not doing this today, but I just want to tell you another spin-off from what you have in the jug there. Yeah. Right? When you're going to saute, you can add turmeric um, and the ginger. And that gives you a, it sort of brings your taste bud over to a sort of a, like a Nigerian flavor. Yeah. I put, I put a little ginger in. Excellent. Yeah. And if you want to get like a nice um, sort of African flavor, you can add some turmeric to that when you're sauteing it. Okay. Yeah. And um, uh, I mean, Africans and Nigerians, they like a lot of hot pepper, but obviously we know that's going to burn out our, yeah, we <laughs> that's we not the best of health. So you could just add some cayenne. We just keep it simple. <laughs> but, and then you could use, Palm oil, it's not palm oil, it's not something you want to make a regular part of your diet, but it has an, an outstanding, amazing flavor, unique that you've never tasted before. So if you use it twice a year, and after you finish eating, you go for exercise, and that's, you can get the way you will live. <laughs> we will not learn that. Actually, palm oil have some good, have it's high in monosaturated fats, but just that it is also high in saturated fat. So it's, um, it's sort of hard to balance it, but it has some really good fats in it, but it have a lot of the bad fat as well. That's why it's not necessarily the best to use. But when I was in the UK, I use it twice a year. Yeah, we, ne we never known it, so we don't miss it. Yeah, you don't miss it. Yeah, but yeah, that's fine. Use olive oil or or whatever else. Mm -hmm. uh, Lena. Oh no. How much? Um, Sorry, hold on. How much what, Lena? Hold on, Adrian. Uh, okay. How much olive oil? Oh, you just want to cover the bottom of your pot. Ah, uh, okay, yes. Yes. And then uh, what is best? Tapioca or cornstarch? Um... Well, any one of them, to be frank, right now. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, so I um, put the oil and the flour and the spices in the pan. Yes, yeah. We normally use cornstarch for this part, for this one. Okay, I'll mm. do that. That is the cheaper one. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. I, I heard you mention something about cloud. But if you have other flour, you can use other flour, you know, Lena. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you have other flour, you can use other flour. It's because somebody didn't have. We want to save our cornstarch for when we do um the Mexican cuisine. Not Mexican, um Asian. When we do it Asian cuisine, like Chinese sesame chicken or Japanese style then we, we they use a lot of corn corn flour or cornstarch whatever we call it the okay. white one they use a lot of that so we want to save it for those recipes yet yeah, today you can use any even some of the flour that you're using for the tortilla you can use some of that flour in this yeah mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned something about cloth and star anise uh, i never use this ah so 
add about two star anise, no more than two star anise, okay. and no more than four cloves. You can add to the pan that you're gonna saute. Okay. So when the heat touches them, after a while, you're gonna see the star anise will even pop open on you. Um, and you're gonna start smelling the aromas coming out of them. Yeah, and is it strong? That's why you use only two. Uh, or, or I take only one because we don't know the taste. One then, that's fine. Yeah. Arena. Yes, Adrian. Yeah. Um, ready, Margaret, it's ready. The flour in the pan and all those things. And I stir it. Let me see it. Am I able to see it? Ah, oh, that's looking good. Um, it need more oil, man. It look like flour itself toasted. It need more oil. It's supposed to look more pasty than grainy like that. I lift up some. I can't see the pan. I'm Lorna. Can't see inside. Is it looking pasty? No, oh yes, a liquid. Oh, you need more flour. Lon yes, yes, Lorna, yes. Saute as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, add your liquid, add your liquid, and then you whisk it, Adrian. Adrian, you're using a fork. Have you not got like a wooden spoon? How is it going, Gloria? Uh, how is it looking? Like grains of flour? It looks like something you can sieve. No, Gloria, no. Um, all right, just add your liquid. It's, let me see if I can find a picture online and tell you what it's supposed to look like. Davina? Yeah. Can some of the sauce have in chunks or should I smooth it out of pure liquid? No, man, if you want, you can have chunks, so you are going to use it. Okay. But no, man, it's supposed to be smooth. All right, look, add your liquid to your thing, your flour that you have there. And get a whisk. You're going to have to whisk it. May I ask to which liquid? Is it only water or that we blended? Huh? Liquid, is it that we blended in the blender or in the mixer or is it just water? The, the liquid, hmm? you, is the tomato and the onion. Okay. Yeah, That's the liquid you. I'm talking, that you blend it. You have it, you have it already blended in the blender. That is what you're going to add to the flour paste it's supposed to should have come out like a paste but if you don't come out don't stress yourself just throw the liquid on it anyway and you have to use your whisk now and probably whisk it to get out them lumps of flour it should look like a paste that's what you're aiming for so maybe a little bit at a time yeah until you get it paste. a little bit at a time you add to the pan Adrian, that looks like it's coming on right. Yeah, that's looking right. Like it's coming on nicely. I'm going to try to find some pictures. Let me see if I find some pictures.
Oh, by the way, you could add a little smoked paprika. Tafina? Huh? Okay, after adding the... Um, uh, okay, after what is sorting the oil with corn flour, do I add the mixture in the, from the blender now into the pan? Yeah, add it a little, little by little and whisk it so make sure that the lumps from the flour is oh. out. Yeah, Thank because... I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing the process that I'm looking for. I'm not seeing it on, um, Davina. It's love. Yeah, my, I think mine is done. Can you see my pan? And that's my twist. Uh, let's see who talking. Um, um, you have to use yeah, you want to add, you can add some water to it. It's thick. It looks good though. Davina, this is mine. Add some water or some stock and whisk. Who talking? Christine, morning. Yeah, Hold on, you just disappeared from the screen. Let me find you and pin your back. Hold on, Chris. I can't stand for long. I have to kneel. I have to. Yeah, let me see now. Oh, the thing keep jumping. Every time somebody joins in it, it kicks you. It kicks you. One second. I know you can't stand for long. I'm sorry. Get your chair. Let me see. Yeah, all right. I have you pinned now to my screen, so... Yes, thank God. All right. Let me see what you have there, Christine. You have to turn the camera down so I'm able to see it. Lena, camera down. What do you see now? Um, if your thing is lumpy, it's you need to lumpy. whisk it with a hand blender. Or... That looks good, Christine. It's awesome, yeah. It looks good. Ah, uh, it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. Okay. How is it supposed to look? Sorry, I didn't see. Show, <laughs> show. Sure, sure. I'm gonna send a picture in the group. Okay, thanks. Lena. Yeah. Do you see my pot? Yeah. It. Yeah. Um, Lena. It's. Yeah, that's okay. It's you can add your thing to it. You're gonna add it slowly and whisk to get the lumps out. And the um, tell me. The star and it stays in there. Huh? The star and it stays in there. Yes, man, they stay in there. So what did I put in? The tomato now. Yeah, you add the liquid, but slowly and whisk it so ah, you can okay. get out the lumps from the flour. Thank Keep. You. Thelma, tell me that looks okay, you know. But I'm just thinking I can't. I'm seeing some lumps. If you wanted to whisk more to get the lumps out, you can. But it, I don't see the color though. Yes, it's not red. Oh, you use green pepper. Oh, Thelma, I don't know if you're talking. You're on mute, so I'm not hearing. No, I said um, I can make it more red if you want me to. No, man, it's up to you. Okay, you have green enchilada sauce as well. Okay, um, so this is good? Mm-hmm. It's a little bit fresh. Can I add a little bit more salt to it? Oh, yeah, you can salt it up, man. Okay. Uh, Margaret. Thank you. Margaret, again, yeah, do that again, let me see. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. It's, you can add water to it and whisk a bit more. It's thick. Let me help you. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gloria, let's see what you've got. I was going to bring to you. Uh, okay. Ah, that looks good, Gloria. Well done. Yeah, okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure you're happy with the taste. Adrian, let's see what you've got. That's okay. It's a little thick, Adrian. You can add some more water to it and whisk. Okay. Yeah. You see, I sent one in the group, guys. Just look at that picture. Margaret, your hand is up. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, that was up from before. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it down. I don't even know how to take mm -hmm. it down, actually. All right. Thank you. Uh, this one Davina. okay now. Oh, Davina, can you have Yes, a that's see? good, Adrian. Okay. All right, who's... Yeah. I heard that's Florence's good. voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that looks good. That? Yeah, happy with the okay. taste. If you're happy with the taste, the sauce is ready. Right. Um, Davina, uh -huh. sorry, my battery died, so I'm sort of holding it now near to a plug. Oh, um, is that Lorna? Is, yeah. It okay. Um, this is the source. It's, I don't know if you can see it. Um, hold on, I'm looking for the Hawaii again. Yeah. Can... Hold on, I still haven't seen it yet. Oh uh, yeah, let's see. So you um, use green peppers. Um, I used red peppers. Oh, but they look green though. Um, that could have been a little of the seasoning that I had used. I'd used a mixed one. With okay. Cumin. And you use uh, tomato? Yes. Oh no, I haven't put the tomato in. This is a tomato. Oh, so um, what's that in the pot? Um, it's just the flour, the oil, and the seasoning. Looks good. Add the tomato. So I can add the tomato now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, brilliant. Davina, Thank you. I'm going to put the phone down. Okay. Mm, yes, okay. that's fine. Mm -hmm. Hello. It's all right now, then. You see? It's still thick because it's not moving, it's not running off this spoon. You, you won't oh, be able right. to... Okay, as long as I know what it is, it's got to run, so that's fine. Yeah, it needs to come off this spoon. You see, I sent one in the group. If you look at it, you will see oh, yeah, that's all right. yeah. the consistency that you're looking for. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. As long as I know it's the run. Yeah. I also have a picture of a green enchilada as well. Oh, Lord. Today I need a chauffeur. Oh. <laughs> Drive me to the country. By the way, ladies, just to let you know that Loy is on here. She does um, a cooking show, not a cooking show, a sewing school. <laughs> She does a sewing school and listen, it's very good. Over the lockdown, right? When we the lockdown just started and she did it, my daughter was bored, so um, you know, I signed her up to Lois course and she enjoyed it. Day one, she was making skirt. <laughs> the course is good and uh, it's also a very necessary skill to have so 
you all can collect Lois' number and see when she run in another one. Graduation for the class is tomorrow at 2 p.m. I don't know what time. I think 2 p.m. I'll be sharing a little word there. So if you want to join in to receive a blessing, please do. It's a very good course. It's a skill you want to have in these last days. Because when you can't buy yourself, who gonna where well, you're gonna get clothes from for your grandchildren then? You're gonna have to learn to sew something for them, put together two pieces, use a old pillowcase and turn it into a shirt or a skirt. Um so it's a very good course to do. You said tomorrow, is it tomorrow or Sunday? No, two PM Sabbath. Okay. Sab 2 p.m. at my time, which is about 7 p.m. UK time. But I just give in my graduation speech, which is a spiritual speech. So, Vinny, what do you do when you've finished it? Do you put it in a jar or something? What do you have to do? No, we're going to use it to cook with today. Okay. Right. Yeah, so you put it one side. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're going to make the wraps. So you're going to need, um, what do you call it now, like a Pyrex dish or a Pyrex dish would be good. Uh, the square one, square or rectangle, long one that we're going to make the wraps. Let me see if I can find a picture and send you so you see what the... All right, then. You can make um, um determine what container you have. Thank you. Davina. Yes, love. Okay, do we do we um do we sweeten it or we leave it as it is? The sauce no, I don't need to sweeten it. Pardon? Don't need to see wow, Christina sauce look fantastic. No, you don't need to. You can add a little honey to it if you if it you can add a squirt of honey to it. Okay, just remove the acid from the tomatoes, huh? Mm? Because the tomatoes are a bit acidic, they're a bit sour. So okay, okay, use a squirt of honey. Yes, use a squirt of honey. Okay, sure, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, some apple juice, but some honey should do. So you see, I sent you two pictures. I hope you can see what kind of container you're going to be looking for. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Yes, please. That mic looks good. So, Laura, I'm going to put the graduation link in the chat so anybody wants to join in. It's a it, it's a sewing for health and country living cooking um not cooking course sewing for health and country living sewing course. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds correct, but it's a course for a time as this. I need to. Marina. Ah. Uh, Lena. Is my sauce too thin? Look, it's OK. 
okay that looks fine because by the time you put it down and we put the wrap together it's gonna thicken some more look at the picture that i sent you and you see the lady that's pouring the one that is being poured you see the consistency yours look like that now which is fine okay thank you mm -hmm. quite nice quite nice good yeah, yeah, yeah. With the honey. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And thick. That's good. <laughs> so, Davina, I'm just doing my um, cream onion sauce because I didn't have it from before. So, I've sauteed my, no, I've steamed my onions and I do have some um, cashew milk from yesterday. So, I'm just going to make my cream. Superb. Good. And then I'll disappear at 10 o'clock. I have a meeting and then I'll come back on the recording to finish off. All right. No problem. Thank you. So what we are going to do next, let me tell you the steps because sometimes the recordings take long to download because the one from yesterday is still downloading. Um, once you make your sauce and put it aside, then we're going to get the wrap. Oh, you, you haven't made the wrappers yet, have we? So now the sauce is ready. Let's make the wraps. Because we have the flour sitting now for about 20 minutes. So get a pan that you're going to um, make the wraps in. So you need a big, wide skillet. People, you, you will find most people use a, a cast iron, a cast iron skillet, but you don't want to use a cast iron, even though the, it, in terms of the quality of the wrap that it puts out, it's fantastic. But cast iron is aluminum and you don't want to use that mixed metal because you can get aluminum in your diet. Which, uh, which pan do you recommend? Uh, I'm saying no, any stainless steel or titanium. Titanium, uh, pretty I, expensive. I, I, what do you call it? Tight? Titanium. Uh, I think this is the one I have. Uh, Let me. Titanium, but it's very old. Okay, use it. Uh, no, I don't make the tortilla. Uh, I have bought them. You have bought them, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, but that's... I, I want to buy a new pan. That's why I asked. Okay, all right. Titanium, yeah, or stainless steel. But because what I see in the shops everywhere, uh, it is not pure titanium. They no. Cover. Yeah, it's mixed. Uh, so you also have one that was pure. Yes, it should be. Otherwise, if it, if it's mixed with stainless steel, that is fine. But if it's mixed uh -huh. with aluminium, no, and some other okay. dodgy metals. And what I've read, sometimes they put aluminium in stainless steel. Yeah, sometimes they mix stainless steel with aluminium. Don't use those either. Okay. Pure stainless steel. All right. Are we ready to move to the next step? Put the sauces aside. Those who have the the the, the mix the dough ready. You know, have your balls. You're gonna put between the paper, and you're gonna roll them out flat. Try and make them round into eight to eight or ten inches. Avina. Uh huh. You need to bring this. 
Okay, you've made one. Wonderful. Look at that. Take pictures. Wow, look at that. Excellent, Adrian. See, Adrian has made his wraps. Wonderful. So quiet here in the background and getting on with things, you know, ladies. He's out doing you all. <laughs> Davina, are we greasing the pan or no? Yeah, you can grease the pan, but just grease, just spray it or use um paper towel and right. I can wipe it with a paper towel. Okay. Yes. I'll okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Adrian, Adrian, Adrian. Yeah. How we Hello. do it? We first we put some of this sauce in the bottom of the pan. Then when we make the wrap. We put it in, and then we add okay. the sauce to the top, and then we sprinkle the cheese on above it, on top of it. Okay. Yeah, so we just cover the bottom of the pan with sauce. Don't put too much okay. sauce, because we don't want to boil the tortillas, but we just cover the bottom of the pan, just brush sauce in the bottom. And we can preheat the ovens. But the wrap, right? I want to show you how to do the wrap to tuck the ends in. Who know how to do that to make a tight wrap? No idea. What's that, um, Adrian? You're showing me. I don't see. I see. I see your hand holding up in the air. I don't see what you're holding. Oh, is that garlic? What is it? You have to tell me, Adrian, because I don't. I can't see it so properly. It looks like garlic or string or something. Uh, is it a string? He's muted. Adrian, you're muted. And um, the camera needs to be lined up. Because the camera not lined up, I'm not really seeing it fully. I'm only seeing yeah. like... Are you seeing me now? I can't... No, I can't see you. can't hear you. Take the... Uh, no sound. I can see you, but I can't hear you. Camera, uh, yeah. you can, I can hear you, but I can't see now. Yeah, so <laughs> everything gone, Adrian. Yeah, I have the cheese. What you have? I'm um, the cheese that I buy at the, the shop, so I get um, the greater one. Wonderful. All right, so when you spread out your wrap on the counter, you're gonna put your vegetables in it. Yeah. By the way, we didn't cut up the vegetables yet anyway and make the the meat kind. So you're not quite ready to wrap anything yet. Okay. Yeah, unless if you had pre-done the beans or so from before. But we need to do a meat kind. So as I said, you can either have soya or if you have corn or if you have tofu or if you want to use beans, whichever one. We yeah, got, you have tofu. Yeah. So I think Boosie sent in. Boosie, you did send in some recipe for the tofu last night to make tofu strips, isn't it? Let me. See. You want to slice the tofu? Slice it, um, maybe about what's a half inch, one inch thick, half inch thick. Slice and then turn it the other way and slice again until you get strips. Until you make strips, and then we're gonna season them. And it's always good to season tofu overnight. 
so it can absorb the flavor. We're gonna season them with some olive, with some salt. If you have garlic salt or celery salt, that's good to use. Some onion powder. If you have the fajita seasoning, you season it with the fajita seasoning. And then we're gonna dust them in some corn flour. And then we're gonna pan, pan fry them or bake them. If the class is this silent, I will fall asleep. <laughs> right, Tavina, before you start trimming, <laughs> how do I make the, the, the what do you call them, toilets or what? <laughs> yeah, so you have the you have the thing you made the dough already the dough already right yeah so now we need we are rolling everybody is rolling out their dough now you make the balls individual balls so you cut that big dough in about eight and then you make individual balls and then you're gonna roll them up between two sheets of greaseproof paper roll them round you want to get them to about eight inches wide or ten inches I got um, in between paper. Is it okay if I just spread a little flour on the board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. You, you just have to keep clean. adding flour to your rolling pin, though. You can use clean film as well. Put it in between clean film. That's what I'm using. Okay. Yeah. Are we putting this in the oven or over the hob? No, man. You put a stove. You put a nice big skillet on the stove. Just brush it. Brush it oh, with a piece of paper with a little grease. And then you um you put the tortilla there and you do it uh one minute on each side basically. Cooking one minute on each side. This dough is so lovely. It's like play dough. I yeah, nice. I think <laughs> what time in Jamaica is it now? Let's see if it is wake up. Let's see if it is wake up time. It's four fifty one, not yet. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I'm still lying down in my bed. I'm not getting up yet. <laughs> I have long journey to do today. I'm driving to the country. But uh -huh. I really should get up and get started because I have to cook food to carry to the country. Okay. How are Jamaican countries? Are they like African ones where it's proper village? Or... Some of them, yes. Okay. Ah, ah, sorry. What vegetables uh, will we be putting into it? Yeah, so yesterday we discussed onion and you cut them in wedges. Nice. Um, peppers, red, yellow, wow. green. Cut in julienne strips as well. Um. Okay. You have sweet corn, you can add sweet corn. You have mushrooms, you can have some mushrooms. You don't, you can saute the vegetables as well as you don't have to saute the vegetables. All right, brilliant. Come, we're gonna put this thing in the oven. We're not trying to kill the vegetables by cooking them now and then cooking them again. Because when, when it gets in the oven and it cooks, then the vegetables are gonna cook in the oven. Okay. Um, Davina, do we? Sorry, I missed the 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 rolling out part. Do we sprinkle flour on the greaseproof paper? You can. Okay. And so, so for my dough, because I use two cups of flour, do I split it into eight parts or four parts? You use eight cups of flour. Two cups. Maybe eight. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> I don't think this is right. Oh, let me see. No coming rounds. I've seen others posting rounds. Yes, you have to. Edges. Oh, yeah, it's not big enough. Need it back in. You have to make them a bit bigger, otherwise, they're going to be that small. Huh? Um, I cut up some to me, um, some onion and, and the tofu, but I don't have any, um, I don't have any sweet pepper. Fine. Sweet corn? Yeah, sweet corn. Mushroom? Sweet corn. Huh? Mushroom? No, I don't use mushroom. Why? <laughs> I'll send you the lesson, um, and then you can hear about mushroom. All right, no problem. Use what you have. Okay. Davinia, you know that we've uh, um, uh, um, rolled out the wraps, so do I do the filling now? Uh -huh. Or are we all going to do it together? Do I, do I start putting up the filling? You can like start to fill in because some people have theirs already pre prep. Oh, right, okay. Just yeah, pre -prep, most, pre -prep, most people have theirs pre prep, just the onion okay. they have to cut. All right, then, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Sabina, huh? uh, I have now cut the 
half paper of red and half paper of yellow. Mm -hmm. And I have some sweet corn. Mm -hmm. And I have got onion. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have beans that I seasoned last night. Superb. What more do I have to do? So like your beans that you seasoned last night, you can, um, if you're happy with, and they cook, right? They cook. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you can then, um, you can then like saute them, right? Um, until you get them nicely coated and flavors start coming up from the seasoning. And then we're going to use that as our filling. And if you want to saute your vegetables that you have there, you can throw it in with the beans. After the beans is saute, you can just add it into the end just to get it a little, a little caramelized. And then uh, we're going to add the... Saute means cooking. Yeah. Yeah. So saute is when you put it in a skillet with just a little bit of oil, not much. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Or you can use oil and water together. But if you add the beans to the oil before it hot don't heat up the oil just put it together and then you keep stirring it when you and, turn it on that will be fine this makes a better flavor yes okay. brings out a flavor yeah mm -hmm. and it keeps the oil um once you put them together at the same time before you put the heat under the oil it yeah. um it gives the it keeps the oil within the smoke temperature it doesn't get too hot yeah mm -hmm. Hi, Davina. I haven't got an oven. Can I do everything on the stove? What, what do I do? To... All right. We're going to try and work something for you, Christine. You'll need a big pot, though. <laughs> Unless you, you, you do them two to a tree tree at a time. In... I'm alone anyway. Huh? I'm alone. Oh, okay. So you only need to do one. Surely you can do it on the stove. <laughs> <laughs> you can do two or three in one pot. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so what I do, I put this, I finish. So I just put the sauce, then wrap it and cook it with the sauce or the tortilla. So let me tell you what you do, Christine. Yeah. Um, what filling are you using? Um, I have the um all the mixed veg and then the uh, mushroom. Uh, onions, all those on herbs, everything chopped. Okay, what meat did you say? I said mix pepper and then you have the onions, so mix with herbs. Okay, are you using tofu or beans or soya or corn? I have a uh, sweet corn as well, and I have um tofu, but I haven't taken it from the packet because uh, is it? Tofu in the packet. I haven't taken it out, but I have. I can use chickpeas beans. I have a chickpeas. Chickpeas is brilliant. Yeah, get your chickpeas. And what I want you to do is to crush the chickpeas a little. Yes. Yeah, crush it, and then you're gonna saute the crushed chickpeas with some onion, garlic powder, whatever seasoning you have. Okay. Just season the chickpea. You can manage. I'll, I'll try and I'll sit down. I'll do it gradually. I'm already tired anyway. You can see. Me. Ah, yeah. we need to talk off the air and see how I can help you. Okay. You you need a blood boost, man. <laughs> yeah, you 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 need some. Um, yeah, we need to give you some good blood. <laughs> need to put you on a, a detox program, detox, mm -hmm. and uh, rebuild the blood. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Have you not have you got molasses, black strap molasses? I have it. I drink it. I take it in the morning and in the evening. I have it. You can take it more than twice per day, you know. Okay. So like no, you could probably just mix some with some warm water or some warm milk or something just to get back some more energy to go to the class. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. so, so if I mix, if I do that, I put it in between, I wrap it, then put it in the pot with the sauce and cook it. Yeah, so you don't you don't um put it in a big pot with the sauce. What you do is in a frying pan like you yes. just put some of the sauce in a frying pan, just enough to cover the bottom of the frying pan. Yes. And then when you wrap the wrap with the fillings that you have inside, yeah. 
you don't have to do anything to the chickpeas you can use it once it's cooked already from the tin you can just add it to the wrap right uh, it would be nice to crush it though so it holds better I'll do that crush it anyway yeah and um you add your fillings to it and you add your salt add a spoon of the enchilada sauce inside and a spoon of your cheese Ooh. inside and wrap it tight wrap it as tight as you can get it yes. with the ends inside tucked in and then you put that in your pan and then on top of it now you put some more enchilada sauce on the top and sprinkle some more cheese on the top and just cover it a little bit so the cheese melts Thanks. Yeah, and you can do about two, two of them or three of them in the pot. Okay. Yeah, I have so an emergency blood booster, people, that can help your blood is, um, red grape juice with unsweetened organic non-gmo soy milk and you mix it 50 50. so red grape juice you know not purple red and it cannot be substituted red grape juice mix with the organic unsweetened non-gmo soy milk 50 50. Oh, my computer battery is going to die. Hold on a second. Let me plug in. Okay. Yeah. I need somebody to come and cook for me. <laughs> How much are you willing to pay? <laughs> How, what's your asking price? <laughs> Let's see if I can afford your Top service. Chef Top chef here after the Venus course. <laughs> exactly, they, they can't pay you, I can't afford you no more. <laughs> Davina, hmm? um, can I put this in the, in the pot now? I have to see what you're talking. I can hear you, but I can't see your picture. One second. Yeah, so I want to understand I can put this in the pot now. The stove food with the onion and the the the, the corn. You want to, to do the tofu by itself, you wanna um so you season the tofu, then you dust it with some of the corn flour or whatever flour you have dust it, and then you can either bake it or you can pan fry it. But you have to dust it for it to hold up firm. Otherwise, it gets it breaks and become can become like scrambled wow. scramble egg, which is another thing you could actually scramble it if you wanted. <laughs> with those things right there, you could scramble it as well if you wanted with those that you have there and put it. I put some flour on it. Yeah, dust it with some flour so it the structure of it holds up together. And then I put it in the pan. Uh huh. Is that your cheese, Gloria? Nice. Gloria, you need to take picture, man. All right, great. Someone take the picture. This something look good. Yeah, I have taken picture. Yeah. Wonderful. 
Oh, let me go search in the group. That will help to keep me awake while you all keep silent. <laughs> I haven't put it in the group yet. Huh? Stay awake, Davina. Stay awake. <laughs> 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 I, I found myself dozing off a couple of times when you are all silent. <laughs> wow, beautiful. Wow. The cheddar one tastes really lovely. I just love it. This one's nice as well, but cheddar one's nice. Really lovely. Wow. The cheddar one, uh, the one that we did first. That's just fantastic. I love that. Man, you all make some amazing stuff. You're brilliant. Thanks to you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and everyone else. Ah. Bertley, are you okay? We're here, you know. I'm ready to lay out. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Myrtle, what I do now, use us if you have enough sauce, that is, you can do it this way. Use like a spoon of sauce and rub on your tortilla base. I did that. You did that on the tortilla base. No, not the pan. Well, you need to put some in the bottom of the pan. Uh -huh. Yeah, but the tortilla wrap now. You're going to put a spoon on the wrap first, and then you're going to put your meat can, and you're going to put your toppings. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you need to get a cutting board. So, you want to have a cutting board because you're going to have to... Uh, I would put... You know how you have your thing that you set up on your stove sometimes? Yeah. I would do that now and then have the pans, the three pans, the pan with the sauce and the cheeses all to the back. And then the front part of the board, I put the wrap so I fill them up from there and then just roll them and put them in the pan that you're going to put them in. But have yourself sorted out. You know your kitchen and the layout you can work with. Denise, I'm going to... I would love to use your picture. I love this picture. I'd love to use this picture in my recipe book. Who did this one? That's Denise, man. Yeah, no problem. No Fantastic. problem. Fantastic. Can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You said no problem. Yeah, no problem at all. Fantastic. Thanks. Davina, I, I, I think Denise has an amazing gift when it comes to presentation. I think so. I think I so as well. I have never seen anything like it. Oh, thank Denise, you. You yes. are amazing. Listen, it's so much fun. I'm telling you, it's so much fun. I was, I've been uh -huh. up since three o'clock this morning trying to do, oh. do some bits. It's just so uh -huh. much fun. It's wow. amazing. And thank yeah, you guys no, for all the excellent recipes. are at a whole different level. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You are welcome. Edwina, how are you getting on? I don't hear a word from you. And Lorna, I'm gonna hear not more from Lorna in a while now. Hello. I was uh, paying attention earlier, uh, but, but what I've done is because I didn't have any filling really, I opened a tin of chili peas, red chili yes. beans, uh -huh. um, blended that, and I put it in the sack filling. Of onion. Yeah, as my filling. Okay, cool. But That's good. But my bread or my tortillas didn't come out too well. So I'm thinking that I need to go and make some more. What, what happened? Um, one, I don't like the colour. The colour should make a difference. The flaxseed is going to give it a wholemeal colour. I don't know yeah. what colour you had used. 
Yeah, it's flaxseed. Where is it? The color looks good, man. What's wrong with you? The color is fine. <laughs> I was thinking I might need to read it. No, man. The thing is fine. Use it. Okay. Yeah. Because as long as you I taste have... it and you're happy with the taste, that's okay. I have tasted it. It tastes okay. Okay. The color that I wasn't too happy with. No, man. The, the color is fine. It's a healthy color. Right. Well, that's a black seed that's in it. Mm -hmm. Right, so now all I've got to do is roll it then, basically. Yeah, with a filling. So how you do now, you put the filling on one half, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Um, And you pull the end up and you start rolling it, then you tuck the sides in. Then you make wow. another roll and you tuck any extra sides in. And then make the last roll and it should be closed. And when you put it in the pan, you put it down on the seal section. On the seal section? On the part that is overlapping. Right, okay. So All it right. sits on it because what happened now is when it's cooked, it's going to, um, the tortilla going to get, uh, it's going to like firm to the shape. So it will stay closed. Right, okay. I am about to put it in. Can you that again? Can't see anything, Lena. No, so you just have to explain again how, how do we roll it. <laughs> Let me see your cutting board. Line up your camera and then I can look at your cutting board and tell you. So you're going to put the, you put it flat on your cutting board, a wrap. Um, but if I hold the camera, I cannot work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You put um, the building on half? Huh? You put the building on the half, you said. Yeah, on one half, but you put it about an uh, inch or so away from the edge. Okay. So you can have some to start to pick up to start to fold it over and and as you fold it over you want to use your fingers to sort of keep the filling in so it doesn't start spreading all over yes right and then you tuck the sides in give one tuck in of the two sides and then you give it another fold over and then you're probably going to see two more sides sticking out. Then you tuck them in as well. And then you give it another last fold. Ah, so you you put the sides in and along the way you work. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I got it. Mm-hmm. Davina. Hello. Are we cooking the, uh, the thing, uh, the wraps, before... You've made um, the wraps already, yeah. You cook. You've put them on the pan, and uh, just brush the pan and put them on it, low, low to medium heat, so you get them uh, made. And then we're gonna use them to put the filling in. Okay. Uh, it's only the filling that goes in. Where does the cheese go? Yeah, you can put some cheese in the filling and then we're going to have cheese or on top as well. Ah, you put you put some, you put a spoon under with the filling you put a spoon of the enchilada sauce a little bit of your cheese sauce or cheese whichever one you have grated just sprinkle some of that in it. And you want to make sure you sprinkle some salt. Cheese sauce. We made the cheese last night. Just the cheese is fine. I can grate it. Yes, you can. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And take pictures when you grate. Please remember to take the picture and just post in the group. I need something to look at. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no time for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to fall asleep then. Avina. <laughs> Adrian, we can see you and we can hear you as well. Yeah, Myrtle, that looks good. 
Do I put uh, more sauce? That's but Myrtle, I don't see any sauce in the bottom. Yes. Is there there is? is? Okay, yeah. I know you put the sauce over the top. Put more, pour more over the top? There is, I don't see any on the top. Well, the fact that I can't see it means you need more. It needs more? Yeah, because I can't see any. It seems dark in here. Yeah, man, you need sauce, man, over the top. Okay. Yeah. Let me send you a picture. Okay, this is a lovely picture. Look at that one. Bellavina. Yeah. Adrian. Adrian, we can see you and we can hear you. Yeah, look at um, this. That looks good. So, Adrian. Uh, what I must do with the tofu? Yeah. With the tofu? <laughs> Yeah. Your tofu was supposed to be inside the wrap. Okay, all right. Yes, I know. On top of this uh, mixture, what? cheese sauce. Uh, put so some cheese. The onion, the tofu, everything must go yeah. inside the wrap. So you need to make more wraps. I only have um two. I, I only make two. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to make more. Are you gonna have to put up the big straw? But yeah, better you make two more up. Just do a little bit more of the flour. It's easy. It's easy. Okay. Just yeah. To that, what you have there, add some um, grate some of the cheese on the top. Or if you have cheese sauce, pour some of the cheese sauce on the top of it. But greater some of the cheese. Sprinkle some cheese um, on it like this. Yes, yes, yes. You can put more in on Adrian. Put look okay. at the picture I send in the group. Look in the group and see how I've sent the picture. And then so two pictures I've just sent. This is what the finished product should look like. So be a little bit more generous with your sauce on the top. Spread it out a bit more over the thing. And then put your cheese on the top. And then sprinkle either some chopped spring onion or some parsley or cilantro or mixed herb or something on the top. And stick them in the oven. Then I put it in the oven. Yeah. So that is the enchilada. You need to have more wraps and just leave a handful of filling because I want to show you how to do at least one single quesadilla. Quesadilla, or however it is pronounced. Pronounced quesadilla. Pronounced quesadilla. Recipe for quesadilla. <laughs> oh boy. Siri not doing very well. That is incorrect. That is not what I asked for. Recipe for quesadilla. <laughs> Siri is still asleep like you. Siri can't pick up my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm speaking too much Jamaican for Siri. <laughs> All right, definitely pronouncing the word wrong. Siri, give me a place called Casadella. <laughs> well, it is spelled Q U E S I D I L L A. Casadella. Casadella. I know I always pronounce it wrong because wh whenever I call it in front of the people from that culture, they always correct me. They all, firstly, they don't know what I'm talking. Then they realize that they correct me. <laughs> Savina. Uh? Savina. 
Uh, now you confuse me because of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? Let me see what you have there then. And the picture, uh, you have not pulled in the ends. They are open. No, they're not open. But I look at the picture. Oh, no, no, no. Do, do, ignore that, man. Ignore that. That's not correct. When you take up your, I'm telling this person, whoever did that picture. Their stuff looks nice, but when they take up their thing, it's gonna yeah. be falling out. Ah, so it's yes, nice yes. Let me. S Thank you. Look at the picture where I sent earlier, where it was being poured, and you will see how that person's ones are closed up nicely. But it says Davina, so you are the one put in. Yeah, but I sent a picture earlier to show the pouring, how the mixture should look. I'll send it. Oh, see, Bussy resend it. Yeah. Yeah. This picture now is correct, huh? Yeah, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> because that person, they have the both sides open and then they have the, the fold on top. So I'm telling them when they try to take that out, they're going to have disaster. They, it's going to be so difficult to lift that out of the pan to put it on the plate. But they'll yeah, be able to yeah. get it out, you know. But the sides, the things will be falling out from the sides. It will taste good. It will still taste good, but it's just going to be messy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. It's 5 o'clock, 5.25. Maybe I can wake up now. Who is my tops? Who is number beginning with plus two seven ending with three five six? Someone in South Africa. Then I turn the class today. I like the picture, the presentation of their wraps. They're really nice. Hello. Um, put this in the oven now. Yep. Sprinkle on the top of it. Sprinkle some mixed herb and a little salt. Pinch of salt. Okay. And basil can do. Uh? And mixed spice. Basil and mixed spice. Not mixed spice. And basil can do and the oregano. Do. Oregano. Yes, yeah. and um, um, nutmeg. Okay. If you have nutmeg, a pinch of it, but you can leave it without all of that. 
You can just sprinkle just the oregano and a little salt on the top and put it in. Okay. Uh, how many minutes? Um, two minutes. Um, about 20 minutes. We're going to do it until you see the cheese nicely melted on the top. Okay. Yeah. Wow! This is good. Davina, hmm? are you happy? Uh, there's a lot of sauce in the pan. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like a lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. That's all right, you know. It's going to, what happens is if you put too much sauce, it could get soggy a bit. But it's going to be really nice, a, though. I can take a little out. You could take some out, yeah. Yeah. Yes, for the quesadilla. Yes, I had four shells, so I left one. Wonderful. All right, you want to give your quesadilla a try? Sure. So in a pan, you're going to put the pan on, and you're going to brush it as well. Okay. All right, so you want to have your make sure you have your fillings ready, you know? Okay, so the fillings are what? Same filling that you had, you can use. Okay. Unless you've used all of them. No, I still have a lot. Um, I'm putting the pan. Send some cum. <laughs> <laughs> Am I putting the um the shell in the pot? What am I putting in the pot? Yeah, you're putting the, the wrap in the pot. Okay. So you're gonna put it in the pot. Um <laughs> this is what you have to move. So let me tell you about the quesadilla first before you even attempt it. Okay. It's something that you have to move quickly with. All right. Right? So when you put it in the pot, you're going to put the filling on half. Okay. So you're going to first, wait, you're going to put cheese first, uh -huh. then filling, then cheese. Okay. And then on, oh, but only on half. Only on and half. then you're going to close it. So you're going to close, you're going to lift up the other half that is, doesn't have any filling and you're going to close it. You're going to use your spatula or your lift or something like that and just press it down and fire is underneath it, you know, so the cheese will start melting and the cheese will start holding together. So, you know, cheese at the top, cheese at the bottom. Okay. It will start holding together um, and hold the filling in and then you flip it. Okay. So the other side can get a little of the crusty and the other side can melt properly as well. Right. And then you put it on the plate and you can then cut it in half. And then I can have my breakfast? Eh? And then I can have my breakfast? 
And then you can have your breakfast. Lena? <laughs> hmm? For the enchiladas, do I put the sauce on first, then add the cheese, sprinkle the cheese on top? Yes. What did you say? <laughs> well, I, so, <laughs> I roll them. So do I add the sauce, tomato sauce on top and sprinkle it? Yeah. So did you put any sauce in the bottom of the pan? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot. Just a little Not bit. Not a lot. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, Missy. Um, I've sliced my uh, onions cheese? and peppers. Oh, um, remember, people, please send pictures of the cheese before you all devour them off. <laughs> So do I do I sort the onions and peppers? That's for my. No, you don't, have to, you don't have to saute them. You don't have to saute them. Right. You can add them in raw in it like that. And the okay, and then I've got chickpeas and mixed beans. Do yeah. I mix? Yeah. Listen, you can mix them if you want. How many people are you cooking for? Two. Huh? I'm cooking for two. And I'm going to use two fillings. Today and tomorrow. To okay. I, so I'm going to use two different fillings because uh, the other one is a um, grain loaf and it's got nuts and my daughter can't have that. But she will have the bean one. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Yeah. And mosquito trying to wake me up. How do I mash the peas in the blend blender or just? No, man, you can put it in a food processor or you can use a potato masher. Okay, thank you. You okay? Yes. I'm showing yeah. off. I'm showing off um Denny's cheese. I'm sending it to groups all over the place.
Oh, sorry. I'm just listening to Boosie's voice note. <laughs> Davina, they're not supposed to know that we're busy chatting away behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, you talking about us. No, no, no. We, we're not yes, gossiping yeah, yeah. at all, <laughs> Sister Abigail. But we are not. At the time, Mr. Abigail. Louis is going this to brilliant. sue you guys. <laughs> Louis is going to sue you guys because she doesn't like talking in the night. So watch out. <laughs> Louis will sue you guys. Who? <laughs> Louis, because she doesn't like any talking in the night. So she's going to sue you. <laughs> Louis always saying no messages in the night, please. Yeah, Louise, it's, Louise, it's Louise. It's daytime now. It's ten forty-four. Louise, all right. Now she's good. I am the only one having night. Me and Myrtle. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, Bussy. That's fantastic. I love the ideas. Okay, now come to my inbox. Don't discuss in class. Yes, and I'm in you myself. <laughs> Don't worry, ladies. We are just dreaming up big and beautiful things for you all and for everyone else who is coming on the course after you. That's all we are discussing. You've inspired us so much. And... Davinia, Davinia, hello. Oh, hi, sorry, so sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Davinia, I got to the point where I put the wraps in there. I put the sauce at the bottom, then I put the wraps, and then do I? What do I put after the wraps? You put the sauce in the bottom. You put the wraps on top of the wraps. You put more sauce, and then the cheese, and then on top of that, now you can sprinkle some mixed herb. And a little salt. Right, right, okay then. So it's, it's, so it's and stick it um, in the oven. Sauce, cheese, and spicing. You know, like mix herb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay then. What what um temperature oven? Ah, uh, about a hundred and eighty degrees or two hundred degrees. Okay then. Thank you. Yeah, two hundred degrees okay. for about twenty twenty me. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to remember how long I know what to do them for. Maybe about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. You just want to watch them and see when their your cheese is melted and they start to get a little bit... The, 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 the wrap starts forming up nicely, firm up nicely. Okay, then. Right. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, I think we need to do that. But for this, we don't need a patent. We just need a registered trademark. 
that's what we do because patents are more about formulations, inventions. Busi, and you're and online now. now. <laughs> oh Busi, you're goodness. online. <laughs> we can hear patents. Arena. Oh dear, technology. Arena. Oh yes. Um, <laughs> I put it in on the over about 20 minutes now. You put it in the oven already for 20 minutes? Yeah. No, it doesn't look ready. What? What's all of that? You put all the onion and everything on the top? Yeah. That's new. <laughs> That's a new, different one. Um, But it looks that to me like it could take longer in the oven, though. I put it, it more in there. Yeah, but you sure that plate is oven proof? I don't sure. But are you happy with it? Because the onions on the top don't look cooked yet. Yeah, it look cooked. They cook? They are cooked. Cook. They have cooked. So you yeah. may need to put it in longer. Okay. Yeah. Arena? Yes, Marina? um, yes. Ooh, pretty. Now you put this grater your cheese on the top of it. And it's enough sauce. Yes, and it looks good. I would oh. like you to send pictures of that stage in the group, please. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Lena, that's very, 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 very good. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Thank but you. But I guess the learning point there too is that if you mess up whilst preparing a dish you can always remedy and rescue it it's not the end of the world and look at what lena has been able to accomplish yes so, excellent learning points there as well mm -hmm. it's fantastic you know what else you could do adrian you could actually put back some if you have sauce left you could actually put back a little sauce over the top of that onion the raw onions that will help okay. it cook faster, yeah. Yeah, I have um, some. Sauce and then cheese and then put it back in. <laughs> That's nice. I'm tired. <laughs> well, you see where I am at. <laughs> <laughs> just so you can't Regina. finish your cooking from the bed <laughs> i'm in pain you know what i had for dinner yesterday a mm. few ripe bananas blended with soy milk and some um uh, um molasses mm. and i just tidy up after that and just shower and come straight to my bed that was just it just couldn't manage anything more to do anything more <laughs> I but but I have to eat today. Today is Friday. I have to prepare something nice for Sabbath. <laughs> right. I mean, can you see my setting now? My wake top. I've got my. You've got your wraps, yeah. All right. Yeah. So what's the next stage? I've got my filling. I've got my cheese. I've got my sauce. So good, Telma. No, on top of Telma, you put some sauce on the top. And then it's greater some cheese on top of it. Um, right. Abigail, put I wanted you to see. I wanted you to see this, Davina, because we use the brown rice flour and then we used um, flax meal and all of that. And I wanted you to see that I wouldn't use this flour again because it didn't it cracked. Feel nice. It, the, because everything was so grainy. Ah. Uh. It oh, psyllium husk nice. would have worked with it. You could they try the flour again, but with psyllium husk in it. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, but that would give it the glutinous, right. give it more, make it more glutinous. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. This was a good learning exercise because then you know the next time what to do and what not yeah. to do. Yeah, and you know what's one of the most beautiful things? To experiment with these gluten-free flowers. Okay. To learn about them and understand about them so much right. that you would know how to develop them and how to actually use them properly in recipes because, you know, this sort of texture and results you're going to get. So, you know, what to mm -hmm. add with them to make them more pliable, um, mm -hmm. make them raise easier. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, Abigail, no eating until the food is completely <laughs> finished. <laughs> oh my God, I always get caught. <laughs> That's why I would turn my camera off, you spying. <laughs> so, Abigail, you gotta, Abigail, I don't know if those are round enough, you know, are big enough, those ones that you have there. But anyway, we work with what you have. You're gonna put a mm. little bit of, um, tortilla i mean a little bit of sauce like a tablespoon yeah yeah on the wrap you're gonna put your fillings in it so your meat filling and your vegetables or your bean filling whatever you're using as your protein as well mm -hmm. as your vegetables about a spoon and you're gonna wrap it roll it oh my 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 use two cheese look at that man lena hey. you're doing well more cheese? Yeah, yeah, man, you can put some of your white cheese as well because you have white color one as well, isn't it? Uh, I used it in inside. Uh, all right, then that's fine. Use just the yellow on the outside. <laughs> but you said you had some of your, your, your thing there, sauce. What? You still had some of your cheese sauce. Your cashew cream, cream, your creams. No, they are all used. I, I have a made new. Uh, no, 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 that's fine. Cream. Just put more cheese. Put more cheese then on the top. But you can put cream, more. You don't have to put more. That looks good what you have there. Just send some pictures through. A little more cheese. I would put a little more cheese. Yeah, I, I like to see a little more cheese. But it looks amazing, Lena. It looks fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Well I know done. My family will be very happy tomorrow. Excellent. <laughs> you know, what cheeses are we using? Are we using the cheese we made yesterday? Or oh, yes. Using... Okay. Yes, you want to use the cheese you made. You made it for this purpose. But if you have the store-bought one and you want to use it, you can. But you've made your cheese for this today, so you want to use it. The only my only regret is I'm so far from all of you guys, man. So I actually have to cook. If I was close by, I would just drive around and collect <laughs> just one one from each household. <laughs> but you're scattered all over the globe. <laughs> All right, you all have five minutes for your class time to be up. Um, <laughs> so once your thingy is in the oven, then you want to take, um, I guess you all use up all your tortilla now, but you saw the message how to make the tortilla chips. You can make the tortilla chips. You can actually put them in the oven if you don't fry them. <laughs> um and you can have you can make your salad so you make your lettuce and you want to throw some sweet corn lettuce tomato sweet corn and cucumber is good and whatever salad dressing you want to use you could use one of your one of your creams from yesterday anyone as your salad dressing so that goes for today that's today's and tomorrow's meal you've got there ready and you can make your tortilla chips the recipe is in the voice note in the group which is the tortilla that you make here. You cut them up in squares and you baptize them in oil. Or you can grease, brush oil on them and put them in the oven. It's a much healthier way, but they may not be as crispy and as nice as if you had baptized them in oil and sprinkled them with salt. <laughs> but...
you all have done well and i'm gonna say you can stay on the line if you want but i'm gonna go in my kitchen now and obviously when i start cooking i need to concentrate on my cooking <laughs> <laughs> so ask all your questions now in the next three minutes lorna you're on mute yes myrtle that's exactly how you do it i like that yeah <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Right. I didn't have the cheese, so it's done without the cheese. Who said it's done without the cheese? Who talking? Lorna? Yeah. You didn't do yeah. the cheese yesterday? No, I wasn't in the class. <gasps> oh, no. So I've done it, but with minus the cheese. You do, you, so what about your creams that from the day before? They all finish? No. This is seed. Sesame seed cream. Yeah, use it. So what, put it on top? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, huh? So if I put it on top, then that should be okay. That would be perfect. Um, in fact, so my sesame seed cream, we could turn that into cheese, I'm telling you. <laughs> how, how, do, how would I do that quickly? All right. Let me see the consistency of your cream. Um. All right, so you're gonna um whisk in. You've got coconut milk, coconut tin of coconut milk or cream. I've got the cream. Right, so that to the put it in the blender and whip in some coconut cream in it. Um. Wow. Throw in it as well two large or three large tablespoons of agar agar. I don't have the agar agar, but I have agar. What? I don't have agar. Is that like a honey or I've got? Um, no, that's cereal. agave is the honey. Agave oh, is right. the sweetener. Agar agar is the powder stuff. Right, I don't have that. Um, have you got tapioca starch? Yes, I have. Have you got corn starch? Um, no, just tapioca. Have you got any algae? Okay. Seaweed? No. no? Oh, I've got the, just the dolls. Does the doll stick it up when you use it, Myrtle? No. no, it's just a flavor. Yeah. Okay. I've only used it. I've only used a dose once, but it doesn't thicken. But you get flavor from it. Have you tasted it when it's wet and raw? No, I put it in the um. <laughs> in the pesto, so you don't really sure how it tastes on its own. No, I don't know how it tastes on it. I can tell you though. I can try. Want me to yeah. try it now? To see how it would go with the cheese. Okay. One second. Um. Okay. It's salty. Mm. It would probably go nice in the cheese then. Yeah, it's it's, it's um, salty. Oh, so would it be a bit like the nori, but without the dry, without the? Would it be like a like a powdered nori? It's like a nori. Yeah, you could put a little of that in the cheese. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking, what can we use? Yeah, so you're gonna put it in now. The tapioca starch. Right. So, how much of the the cream? Just put all of it. Yes, you can put. Uh, you can put all of the coconut cream. You can put all of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. a tin. And you're gonna just whip it up so it comes like a bit um, movable, pourable, and you're gonna put it in a pan. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what your cream have in, if it have onion powder, garlic powder. Um, no, it was just one of the plain ones. All right, so you can put some onion powder in it, you can put some garlic powder in it, you can put some... Uh, 
you're gonna put onion powder and garlic powder and then you're gonna split the mixture onion and garlic mm -hmm. everybody remember the list of essential ingredients it is important to have them so we we pull on these things at any point in time and agar agar is number one okay i'll get some yes please because that is what you need to set your cheese there's nothing that can replace agar agar right agar okay. agar is just what it is have you got xanthan gum or psyllium husk i've got psyllium husk I've got the psyllium husk. All right, put a tablespoon of psyllium husk. A tablespoon. Or a half a tablespoon. Don't oh, don't make it more than a tablespoon. Don't don't put more than that. So you know sometimes we full our tablespoons to a heap. Oh, don't no. don't 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 know that. Just tablespoon okay. or even a little less right i've done that oh i can put some chives in it because i think that goes with cheese um not yet when you split the mixture you add it you add some chives yeah, yeah. so okay. we're gonna split the mixture we can do probably about three types of cheese okay yeah so, so you can split your mixture in about three when we so once I've got, do I need to put the tapioca flour in there now? To the end, not not now, but mix that up and then we're going to mix the tapioca flour separately in a little water. Okay. Did I need to put salt in it? Oh, um, with the dolls, you may not need to put salt. You will need to taste first. Yeast okay. flakes. Have you got the yeast flakes? Um, no, no yeast flakes. So the dolls then, definitely the dolls. Okay. Hold on. Have you got allspice or pimento powder, whatever you... Oh, but you don't want to add that now either. You want to add that have, when you split. I have allspice. No. I, I just got this. This is a dolls. It just came in the post. Yeah, just adjust the post. I mean, it just had just the dolls. <laughs> Adrian, how are you doing? Um, I'm going to take out this and uh, um, add it now. Okay, all right. Davina. Uh, huh? There is my... Add it now. Yes. All right, Abigail, Abigail, <laughs> put sauce on top of yours. Adrian, that looks good. I think if I put sauce, my daughter won't eat it. Um, what put two I separate containers then. Do half with sauce, half without sauce. Huh? What else I should do? That looks good. Take pictures and put in the group. Okay, could I put some, um, some tomato around it? Try some tomato. No, man, and you don't need not um, more around it, man. If you want to sprinkle some more cheese on the top, that's all. But you don't need not more around it. No, but if I put um, the cheese on it, I have to put it back in the oven for it to melt. Well, it's a, yeah. It? It's fine as it is. Just take some pictures and send in the group. Garnish it with a piece of parsley or spring onion or something green. Or if you want to put some tomato around it, you can do whatever you want to do. Garnish it how you would like. You're the one seeing it, so you know better. Let me put some tomato and some... Um, I, I don't have any... Uh, 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 the, the time that I have, I have is um, the ready-made calm time. Okay, yeah, okay. So I don't um, so I'm going to use um, some tomato and some... Um, some olive, black olive. Nice. Okay. I sent my pictures, Davina. I'm done. Let me go look. 
Was I supposed to put any oil in this, in the mix? In the cheese? Yeah. Yes, I think you can put two tablespoons coconut oil. Two tablespoons. Because I, I was mixing it, and I just realized that I think I might need oil or something in it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I'm going to put the blender on. So hold on. Angela, what is this? Which one do you mean? Um, is that the cream? Dollop of the cream on the top. You haven't got the cheese. This cream. It is with black olives and black beans. I made it yesterday. I didn't make it just as you wanted me to do because I think aga aga is very expensive for me. <laughs> and I, I made it in this way. I'm used to make cheese. <laughs> oh, is this your cheese? Yes, it is a cheese, but it is not in, in this uh, hard consistency because I don't like cheese so much. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Uh, but can it spread? Yeah, you can put it on the bread, surely. But it is not so hard as... Uh, but when you melt it, it will, when you put it in the oven, it will melt? No, it is not melting because there's not so much fat in it because... I have. I was on my weight this morning, and I got a bit more weight because of all this fat. <laughs> so I know this is uh, poisonous for me. <laughs> Therefore, I didn't put so much fat in. I'm so sorry. What did you use to make your cheese? Um. Wait a moment. I have to look. It is. Um, I have a recipe here, and you can uh, change it. I have to look in the book. Wait a minute, please. And I will translate it. Um, it is more creamy cheese, um, port of twist. Cashew Sammlung cream and Achtzigen. Because I have a uh, cashew cheese. One red uh, belly pepper, 110 gram cashew nuts. A quarter cup sesame seeds, two cups of water, three big spoons uh, yeast flakes. Uh, I, I can't stand them, therefore I won't take it. One to two onions, about 80 or 100 grams, or one teaspoon uh, onion pulver. One to two uh, garlic, what do you say, the small parts. And uh, some tallow fix, it's uh, something like soup. Two to three teaspoons agar agar, two to three uh, um, big spoons uh, lemon juice, or four to five uh, big spoons. This is a special thing. It is called Kannebrotrunk. It is something which is similar to lemon. And uh, two teaspoons uh, dill, some, some herbs which are not so strong, but I don't use it all the time, and some herbal salt. And some what? what was the last thing you said? Herbal, herbal salt. Salt with herbs. Like, uh, oh, okay, some herbal salt. Okay. And, um, um, so you use cashew and you use... I used yesterday cashews and uh, um, sunflower seeds. Because I know this, uh, it is not so necessary to take so much agar agar because it is really expensive. But you use the same amount of agar agar like the others. Our recipe calls for yes, two yes. spoons of agar agar, but you use three. No, this was um, tea, um, teaspoons, not uh, tablespoons as you used yesterday. Okay, but it's up to you if you don't want to use so much, you know. It's fine. Yes. Yeah, but and I've seen it, it's very good. But I've I just made, uh, I tried to make the same with uh, potato uh, pulver, powder. And yeah. uh, the other one, rice. And uh, when I take it after your uh, recipe, it is working. It is uh, creamy, but it is not hard. But I thought I would like to do it because uh, I am always looking for things to make it cheaper. <laughs> but I, I would like to ask you, in regard to knives, I don't have so much nice knives. Kindly send us a picture which knives really are necessary. Sorry, say that again? The knives. The knife? 
Yeah, the knives you are using because I, you have another technique to cut things with bigger knives. And I don't have all the knives. I have two bread knives and then I have some smaller knives. That's fine. It doesn't have anything to do with the knife. Um, okay. doesn't have anything to do with the knife. I mean, there's not much difference between the two cheeses. Yours okay. are the one that we made out of class. There's not much difference. Yeah. Right. Yes, the yes. only thing is you need to either grate the cheese so it looks presentable, yes, but yes. As in dollops like this, it doesn't look nice. That's why I asked what it is. Yes, it, yes. What it it, but I'm sure this cheese can either grate or it can melt or spread in some way. So no, if it it can't is there is not enough uh, fat in it because I'm not so happy about fat. During one winter, I got six kilos more weight because I love fat. It's not this way. But I know I'm growing. That's fine if you don't want to put any more fat in it. It's just two um, tablespoons of oil it's asked for. But that's okay if you don't want to put any fat in it. It can because still also, spread. Okay, because also yeah. there's a lot of fat in the seeds and nuts. It can still spread. The yeah, cheese yeah. that you have here can still spread and still look a bit nicer. So what you can do is put back for the recipe, right? If you feel like it cannot spread, put it back in yeah. the blender a bit mm -hmm. and whip it up so it becomes more pourable. And then you pour it on mm -hmm. instead of in dollops like this. Yes, it doesn't look so nice, I know, but I thought I could. I, I will try to make it to, to have a, another experience with the taste, you know. With the because taste. then what you have here now, because of the way how you have done it, mm -hmm. it's you're having a lot of cheese. So if you're worried about fat, this is still, this is a, because it's in dollops like this, it's a whole lot of cheese than if it was grated and you sprinkle. Yeah. Because yeah, those people. Is, who make it with the coconut cream. Those who made their oh, cheese yesterday with the coconut cream and yes, what was it, two teaspoons of, of oil in it. Um, they're not using dollops like this. They're, they're just gratering and sprinkling some of the cheese. So they're using less. It's not like they're using a lot of fat in one go. The cheese is going to last for some time. Use more than one dishes. But this is a lot of dollops. At the moment, I have much to eat. <laughs> How long do you think that cheese lasts? Oh, it lasts about a week. A week? I would have to send my husband in holiday if it has to last a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't eat so much bread, Norman. I eat a little bit, and I, yeah, I have my favorites, and it's. it's all right, Angela. Yeah. What is inside of this? The, the, the I see the wrap. What is inside? Is this? I'm trying to make. It is. Uh, I'm trying to uh, figure out what I'm looking it. at. Uh, it is uh, aubergine, onions. Uh, wait a moment, and uh, broccoli, and a bit of garlic. And I made uh, uh, the sauce, the enchilada sauce in it, and also this with the. Uh, uh, with the dark uh, cheese, it is also inside. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, and you put it I in like the oven already? Uh, it is uh, cooking because I put it in a pan. I misunderstood something. Okay, but all right. So you're gonna soon it is finished. <laughs> okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So next time, see if you can just um, make this cheese liquidy in a liquid form and then you pour it on the top so mm. yeah that's a good idea thank you yeah mm -hmm. you will that's use less idea. you will use yeah. less and it will last you longer because you will yeah. use less if you have it that way yes it will really look nice more presentable as well yes yeah, surely yeah no problem so thank you you're welcome, welcome angela davina Hello. Uh -huh. Well, Angela, you know, I just want to say something. You said that this is poison to your body. Um, yes, I'm reacting very much on fat. It is not poison, but I'm growing. And my my weight is going up. I don't. 
Okay, so if your weight is going up, do a little bit of exercise or use a little bit less. You know, we have to understand our own bodies, watch our own bodies. That's fine if you want to amend a recipe um, mm -hmm. to suit your own health needs. But um, to say something that that is poison, it doesn't, you know. No, it is. Uh, sorry, I took the, I, I, I chose the wrong word. It is dangerous. I think it's better to say it is dangerous for me. For because. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to buy new clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, that's how much weight you put in now that you have to buy new clothes. <laughs> All right, that that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you if you're eating like I have advised on this course, if you start your breakfast with fruits, I do nuts, plant based yes. milk, and that's breakfast, yes. right? Yes. No grains. And then dinner, you start with a main course size salad and your homemade salad dressing. And then you fill up on that. And if you have any space left, then you eat the dead food, which is the cooked food. You will never, ever need to worry about weight. Yeah, okay. This, yeah. I, you know, I love my uh, oats and my muesli. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. But I, I I try to follow it with uh, less muesli and oats. That is that it is most uh, fresh things, also with a salad about noon time. Okay. Because I know it's really good. The, the, the living animals are much better than the dead ones. I know. Yeah. And um, just as to, I mean, we haven't done the class in this as yet, but when we get to this section, you will know. But um, grains. Is where is your main source? Oh, it may have done it. Lucy may have said it when she did the presentation. But mm -hmm. grains is our main source of energy. So if mm -hmm. we're taking grains, we need to be using up this energy. Otherwise, this energy is going to be stored on our waistlines, on our hip, as fat. Right? <laughs> so if you're taking grains, you need to be covering at least 20,000 steps per day. Oh, minimum 10,000, so between 10 to 20,000 steps per day. 20,000 is a lot. Yeah. So when you're throwing the grains in, make sure you're covering that. Otherwise, you're gonna the grains is going to bank itself on the waistline and the hips and the areas where adipose tissues are stored up. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's why I recommend a breakfast. If you're a sedentary worker, like... I guess most of us on this course are. For example, I'm in my bed teaching. More than sedentary, this is. Uh, <laughs> um, if you're a sedentary worker, you don't need as much grains as is recommended by the World Health Organization or anywhere like that. You need, you need breakfast, zero grains with your breakfast. You need fruits and uh, your nuts and your beans from your plant-based milks right mm -hmm. and then your dinner you need a main course size salad with your seeds your healthy fats from your seeds and your avocados and stuff like that and then you want to have a nice bowl of cooked beans afterwards mm -hmm. and a little a little grains a little grains little not much otherwise it's gonna store up in all areas of the body yeah uh, so then then this is where now you need to stand get your standing desk and stand and work instead of sitting down you need to do your 10 minute digestive walk before every meal after every meal and in addition you need to do your your daily exercise which is structured um repetitive it's goal oriented and you need to be ensuring that you're covering about twenty thousand between ten to twenty thousand steps per day thank you yeah we have something five thousand i'm not saying nothing <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, what does that mean for a person that wants to gain weight and is still sedentary? 
sedentary and you want to gain weight you need to be adding extra so our daily quota is supposed to be a handful of nuts we're supposed to have like a handful of nuts maybe four days per week but somebody who wants to gain weight can have more than a handful and more than four days per week your nuts and your seeds but and the healthy fats you have more of those and you have your but you don't want to be sedentary. Even if you want to gain weight, we shouldn't be sedentary. We, we need to get the exercise in still. I know. Because my, it's for heart my, health my as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let him exercise. Let him lift the weights. And he can have uh, the extra nuts. Make protein shakes. So in the morning, throw your nuts and your seeds and your banana and your heartier fruits together with plant-based milk blend them up make them nice and thick and have that have that um in the in the mornings and you add a little vanilla and a little nutmeg to that make it really nice in fact you could warm the plant-based milk that you're gonna use um to blend this all up makes a really nice um fruit porridge but when we do the breakfast lesson you will learn how to make that fruit porridges Look, is it, is it this is what my looks like. All right, one second. Let me see, Lena. Lena, that looks amazing. Is it finished? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, who who who, who was the next person talking to me just Lorna. now? Lorna. Lorna. Yeah. Oh, let me I see your cheese. It looks. I have all I've done is blended. I haven't put the cornstarch in there yet, or the tapioca flour. And it's thick. Yeah. That's fine. You want to, we want to get it. You can add some water. Add a cup of water to it. We want to get it um, a little bit thick. Okay. Um, so, I mean, sorry, a little bit pourable. So you put it in the pot and yeah. then put it on the fire and then it will become thick. And even if it becomes thick like that, you spread it in the mold. But we want yeah. to try and pour it in the mold. Okay. So Lana, you need to speed up, man. I'm going to go in the kitchen now and start cooking, you know, people. Okay. 7.20. Huh? I was hoping to ask you because I stopped because I didn't know what next to do. Who talking? Sorry. Who? Who talking? That, that's Lorna. Oh, what you said you were going to ask? No, I said that I had stopped because I didn't know what next to do with Okay, that looks good, Telma. Yeah, it's I'm bubbling. Good. Wonderful. I can't wait to eat this with a salad on the side. Excellent. Make the salad and some chips. Hello. I know, I know about the chips, but I'll make this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Take pictures and send in the group. Give me a moment. I'll be back. Adrian, that looks nice. Can you, can you see it in the camera? Wow. <laughs> what is that there? What is all that you have? Because I joined late. What is it you have, Adrian? Um, is um, I have um, tomato around it and inside of um around it um is um, what's it name is that the fish is olive the roast the roast is it the roast um the olive yeah yeah okay my connection is terrible thanks but it looks great <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Hi. I've actually done done it now. Do I need to put it in the pot now?
Muruto? Hello? Hello? Hi. You know, with the cheese, the next thing I needed to do was to put it in the pot. Um, this is the consistency. Do I need to just put it in the pot now? I put one cup of water into it. Do you have, um, do you have, what do you have in the pot? What do you have heating on the fire? Nothing at the minute. No, let me see the consistency, sorry. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Can't even see you. Again, you just oh. disappeared from my screen. Hold on, let me find you. Who is it, Lana, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is it. Hold on, I'm trying to find you back. Okay. I'm going to pin you. Is it the lighting I can't see? Is it it's pourable? It's pourable now. Yes. Yes, yeah, so pour yeah. it in the pot and then okay. put the flame underneath the pot. And then yeah. and then when that cook that a bit, let it start boiling and, mm -hmm. and then gentle heat. And then you mix the corn the tapioca starch and we're gonna add the tapioca starch to the mix. Okay. Yeah, How okay. does it taste? How does it taste? It, it tastes nice. I like it. Good. All right. Davina. Hello. Uh, yeah, um, look at this one, um, man. Wow, that's a big plate. All right, so let's give you a little tips now. Oh, that's the same plate. So you're going to eat all of that today? Are you going to save some for tomorrow as well? Or anything for, for tomorrow. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Take a picture and send in the group, Adrian. Well done. Adrian, first class, isn't it? So, Adrian, we yeah. did a lesson on um, presentation, but we don't want the plate to be so full, to be overflowing like. We need to use a bigger plate. So, when you're going to take the picture, use another plate as an underlining plate and make it a bigger one and, and put it on. So we can see some rim. Okay. Uh -huh. What's the avocado for? Oh, so if you make if you make like the quesadilla, normally when we make the quesadilla, we want to serve it with chips, and then we want to have some little dips, dips like the avocado mayonnaise on the side that you can dip the chips in. But you don't have to. You have enough food there. So the, uh, I just need to get them straight. The one that's folded over in half is what? Quesadilla. That's a quesadilla. Okay. Yeah. So you can cut that, you know, Myrtle, in the middle, in half. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you rest one piece on top of the other so we can see the the inside. It's very clingy at the minute. It's, it's very what? It's like rubber. Who talking? No, no. Oh, I see you, I see you, I see you. <laughs> I'm saying it's like rubber. The cheese? Yes. All the right. Cheese. And we still haven't gotten the, the corn starch in there as yet, but now we need to ease it off the fire a tiny bit. Pour some in a mold. Pour some of that in a mold. Small mold. And then we're going to add a corn starch to the... Yeah, we're going to uh, mix some cornstarch and we're going to add it to it. Okay, I'm just working out this more. Right, one small mold. Like this doesn't have any. Um, all right. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Put that in the freezer. We want to see how that comes out. Okay. That's without yes. the corn starch, yeah? Without the corn. Without the tapioca. Yes, without this. Yeah, without the tapioca. Davina, how long do we leave the wraps in the oven? 20, 25 minutes. Half an hour max. You want to keep checking them to make sure that they're... The, the cheese is nicely melted. Mm. Your cheese melt nice, nice, Lilina. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it looks nice. Nice. Ah. Nice, Myrtle. That looks good. Thank you. Yeah. So like this now, Myrtle, you serve this with some of the dollop of your, your sauces on the side and some of the, you know, like the little dip, 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 this and vegetables, like the onion and the, not the onion, but like the sweet corn and your okay. cream cheese or whatever, the creams, creams that you did, you can okay. serve some of the other side and some of the enchilada. Okay. I have I am I'm, I'm class is finished, so I'm getting up. <laughs> class is finished, Davina. Class is supposed to be finished at eleven o'clock today. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to the country, so I am getting up now, and I'm gonna go in my kitchen. You can still hang on on the line. If you're still in your kitchen working, but I'm gonna go in mine and start my preparation. Okay. How long should I leave that cheese in the freezer? Two hours. Two to four oh. hours. Yeah. In the freezer. Yeah. Okay. And what am I looking for? So once it's two hours afterwards. It's gonna set and then you put it in the fridge. Yeah. Okay. So the rest okay. of cheese that you have there now, the rest of cheese sauce, mix out the cornstarch in some water in about a quarter cup of water and yeah. pour it in. Okay. Yeah. Not the cornstarch, the tapioca. In cold water though. Cold water. Pour it in and yeah. then a couple of mix to make sure it doesn't lump up. And um and then you cook it for about one minute and then you take it off. And I want you to pour that on your thing. Oh, pour the one that I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, but if you can save some, if you can pour some in a mold and save, you can do that. But if not, you just pour it on it. Right. And then that should be, um, that should be me then. That should be done. My my thing is already half cooked without the cheese. Huh? My, um, my enchilada is half cooked. Oh, you got, you're already halfway there without the cheese? Yeah. That's fine then. I mean, you could still pour the cheese over it because the cheese is cooked anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You could, I oh. mean, you don't have to pour a lot over it. You can put a spoon just a little over it and yeah. then pour the rest of it you know, in another mold. You can put some turmeric okay. with it to give it a nice yellow color. Pour it in a mold and... Um, yeah. You're good to go in the fridge, uh, freezer and then the fridge. Right. Freeze for two hours and then the fridge. Yeah. Two to four hours. Yeah. And then in the fridge and you have your cheese ready. Right. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. That should be, well, let's see if it will come out nice and sliceable or if it will be grateable. So you'll test them both. Right. And mm -hmm. just to see. Because remember, we didn't start your cheese from scratch. We just jump, jump from, from um, mm -hmm. sort of from your thing that you had there. Yeah, the and, and you have a, you have got all the ingredients in it either. That's necessary. So we gonna, just want to see how it comes out. But it tastes nice. It's good for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna quickly do it anyway. If you're still there when I'm finished, then. But thanks. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Hello. Hello.
Uh, yeah, can I send it now? Is that okay now? Yes, man. Send it off, man. Send it off. Send it off. Yes, nice. Okay, nice. Man. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ladies, well done. I have to love you and leave you now and prepare for my supper. Okay. Thank you. Lucy, happy Sabbath. Yes. Happy Thank Sabbath. You. I'll talk to you later, Sabbath. Davina. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Happy Sabbath, ladies. Um, happy Sabbath, Christine. Okay. This is not melting at all. I have to say goodbye. Happy Sabbath, everyone, when it comes. And okay. Davina, thank you so much for your help and your your uh, your education. We're really blessed by everything. So goodbye, everyone. Okay, bye bye. 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 Thank you very much. Who who gave that um? Bye bye. Who gave that Lawrence. feedback just now? Lawrence. Lawrence. Florence. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, we are done. We are done for today. Yes. Oh, 
yeah, we are done for today. You can log off when you want. I'm gonna end this lesson soon. Me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I want to go and concentrate. Um, let us pray to close. Okay. You want to pray for us, please, Lena? Yes. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for all that we are learning. Thank you that you have given us so many foods that are healthy for us. And thank you that you are now teaching us to present it in a very nice way and tasty way. Give us a blessed Sabbath. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bye. Amen. Bye. Bye. All right. So if you're finished and you're okay, you can just log off. I'm gonna okay. hang around for those um like for Lorna who was a little bit behind. So you know. But all others, please go and tidy up your kitchen. <laughs> yeah, bye. And serve your husbands now. <laughs> Bye. 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 Lana, let's see what you've got there. Um, this is on the fire. Um, it's pourable. Spoon, yeah. spoon. That's ready. Put it in. Put it in the mold. Right. The um, the mold is plastic. Is it all right because it's hot? You know, have a little glass teacup. Yes, I do. Yes, man. You can put it in all them. Glass tea right. cup or something like that, yeah. And then and then that is finished for the time being. Mm -hmm. You put some turmeric in any of them? Get some with colour? Oh, oh, yes, I so, can do. Yeah, how I we did them do. yesterday as well. We put carrot juice in one to give it that sharp colour and we put some of the liquid from the olives right yeah to get a sharp color and sharp flavor and then we right. put turmeric in one and then obviously one plain right okay. and then we had uh, we had other variations where we put herbs in some we put even cranberry in some um so you were saying something about dill you could put dill and your herbs in in some yeah so vary them now make all sorts of variety as much as you sure as have you as you have there okay yeah, all right, cool. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks Bye. Again. There's yeah, nine people online. I'm ending the lesson, yeah? All right, thank, thank you. you. Bye, Lorna. Bye bye. Davina. Yeah, who's calling me? Let's Davina, see. Davina, yeah. Emily, you need to put your camera on. Okay. I can't see you though. Where am I now? Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Yeah, I see you. But I, yes, I can see you. Okay. Bye, Adriana. I want to make Bye. the, I want to make the fruitcake again. I'm sorry to take you back. <laughs> my family in <laughs> don't even know. So now, I need to help with just the, because last time I used cake flour. Today, I want to use um, coconut flour. So I just want to help with the measurement with the flour. You can't the, use just the coconut flour, though. Pardon? You can't use just the coconut flour. The texture is not going to be right. It's going to be too sandy. Okay, so what else should I add? What other flour you have? Flax meal, you will need to add. What other flour do you have? But um, almond flour. That is just like a coconut flour sundae. Oh, so I need a, I need cake flour. No, but you can have some like spelt, rye, barley, or buckwheat. These give. Uh, um, you need to have some psyllium husk as well. I yes, I do have psyllium husk. Okay, all right. So let's use the almond and the other one with the psyllium husk and the flaxseed. Okay, so what, what what will be the measurement there? So I will use one cup. Um, how much cake you want to make? The fruit cake. One cake, yeah. 
Yes, just one cake, yeah. All right, so I would use half, one cup almond, one yeah, yeah. cup um, coconut, Yes. Half cup flax. Half cup flax. Yes. Four tablespoon psyllium. Four to okay. five tablespoon psyllium husk. Okay. And then the the rest of the ingredients will remain the same. Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You are welcome. All right. Mm -hmm. But just ring me on my phone if you need any more support while you're doing it. I'll do that. Thank you. All right. Bye. I'm going to end the class.